Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on wherever you are domiciled. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. My name is Maziak Peters. We are broadcasting live from New York City under the auspices of our mother station, Radio Biafra London. Our leader's name is Mazi Namdi Uku Kano, currently incarcerated in DSS Dungeon. At this point, we want to call upon him to lead us in prayer. Before we proceed, so let us pray. Without whom we cannot function, and unto him we give every honor and every adoration, wherever you are, I will ask you, if you are in the spirit to remain so, if you are outside the spirit, we ask you to come into it. Because what we are preaching from here is a gospel of redemption, as directed by Chikukika Biyama himself in heaven. And this very gospel, we must preach it. Therefore, we must pray. We give thanks unto thee, O Elohim, for there is none like thee. There can never be any like thee. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Our lives are in the palm of your hands. We commit all that we are unto thee. We have come as the ancients did before us, as our ancestors did before we came, to offer praise and adoration unto your holy name and no other. For we do not worship any idol. We do not worship anything born of a human being. We do not worship anything carved out of a tree. We do not bow down before anything molded with the hands of men. It's only thee that we worship. That is why we have come this very evening on this hallowed platform that you yourself created to offer you unadulterated praise and to hand over to thee all that we can ever become because Biafra is yours. This very family of IPOB, you molded yourself. You decreed that IPOB must come and now that we have come, that we may worship thee, O Elohim, please accept our offering of praise and sacrifice unto your holy name because there is no other like thee. We will continue to adore thee. We will continue to worship thee. And as I said before, and I will reiterate, as we pray unto thee, that Biafra is your possession. We will sacrifice Biafra unto thee, that you may guide us in all that we do. You is only you that sees the hearts of men. If there is anything that we are hiding, if there is anything that we have concealed from our people, oh Elohim, you will judge us very harshly. But if our hands are clean, our hearts very pure, you will bless IPOB. And you will bless me. And you will bless my family because it's a promise from you. All our hope and our trust is upon thee. May your name be glorified. May you be exalted. May you, O Elohim, be praised. Now and forevermore we pray. He say, He say, He say. Be a bra, be a bra, hear the voice from the Afra. Be a fra, hear the voice from Biafra. See the rest from the rising sun. See the rest from the rising sun. Is the voice of the champion. Be the voice of the champion. Truth be told, it's the one like us in Africa. We are a people fighting for the peace of the nation. Don't try to stop us. I'm exploding more than a dynamite. For we are champions, making our history. Oh, we are missing tribe of Israel. Oh, demonstrating God's heritage. The movement of the people of Jafra Marching on to a motherland Biafra Biafra, Biafra Hear the voice from Biafra Biafra, Biafra Hear the voice from Biafra See the rest from the rising sun See the rest from the rising sun Is the voice of the chair 
The voice of Biafra, welcome to another live broadcast from New York City under the auspice of our mother station, Radio Biafra, London. Our musicians, they are preparing to take a tour, so we're still calling upon you to support them. Please do, do so if you can. It's not a, it's a free will donation. You can donate for them and take somebody amongst them. They are preparing themselves because you can hear the new songs that are coming in. This is a preparation for what is going to happen in Japan. So let us be part of it. We're very, very proud to be part of it. We're very, very proud to be say yes, yes. I supported them, and uh, it's something to be very, very proud of. Honestly, you don't have to be there in the corner. Don't sit on the fence. <laughs> Join the civil defense. That's what we used to say in those days during the war, the Afro War. Don't sit on the fence. Join the civil defense. Mm. Yeah. So this is part of the, your 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 contribution. It's not that uh, we're not fighting them physically. You know that. We know what we are doing. They are all confused. When I look at them in the Senate yesterday, I smile at myself and I say, these people, how can they sit down here? They know what the problem is. And they are running it around. You know, they don't want to go straight to the thing. Like, what are they doing? They are around. They are around. They are around. All of them, these are old men. These are people who are supposed to be at least there's nobody there. We, our Senate is made for old people. I don't even see anybody who is 50 years and below in that Senate. They are all old people. And they, they have brainless people that, that are just there killing themselves. They are running around. They are talking about going to make an indictment to bring somebody from Finland and the rest of them. Right in your face, you have a problem. Get Nam Dekano out and stop running around this nonsense over there because you are wasting your time. You are afraid because coming out, if they know not to be able to eventually come out, because when the man is here, he's going to tell us. <laughs> he's going to tell us what happened. He will know the story from the horse's mouth. You, you people can be there, you know, playing around. I listened to uh, Abaribi, what he said. He made a very straight comment, it's a very straight thing that. But then they end up by saying, uh, when we shall, uh, when, what other session that they called them, I, don't, I can't really remember what he said, but uh, when they get there, that's when they're going to raise the issue. The point is that the, the, the fact is on your face. There's something that I learned very early in life. They said, whatever that deserves to do, do it now. 
He found out until tomorrow what today can accomplish. It's a motto. It's something that almost all my life I've been reading it every day. He said, whatever you desire to do, do it now. Unto the I grant. It's a book, a little book with so much knowledge in it. He said, whatever thou resolves to do, do it now. You find out until tomorrow what you can accomplish today. Because that is what is holding most of us. You sit down in the Senate, a man that is in jail, unjustly, your own court have already said, this man didn't do anything, let him go. And you are people sitting in the Senate. Oh, we are waiting for the court. It's, it's going to be prejudicial. You are a bunch of idiots, all of you. No one deep which court are you talking about? It will touch all of you. I'm waiting. I think yeah, they have a, a presidential tribunal. I'm waiting for the outcome of that tribunal. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Each time I remember it because there are some Thomases out there who think that IPOB is a joke. You are going to see the truth. I will see how you're going to remove him from there. We are waiting. Why does he have to take you all this time to, to give your verdict? You know the truth is very plain on your face. Maybe because you've lied before over and over. This country, they call Nigeria, is not a place for a normal human being to even want to affiliate to. <laughs> Watching your former governor of Central Bank, the humiliation, the insult, the abuse, the way they were dragging him as if he's a petty thief. That is Nigeria for you. That's the anarchy we're talking about. It's coming. We are watching. Anybody out there, people, yesterday I spoke to a family member back home, was complaining bitterly about hunger and the rest of it. I said, I know. You don't have to say, brother, but you people are there. I say, yeah, we are here. But, you know, whatever happens to you, happens to us. We might physically not be uh, uh, lacking money or food or medication or anything. But what does it benefit all of us to be very healthy when we know that you are all there? And these idiots that are there, my, my sister was like, and the person I was talking to, my sister said, eh, but you know all these politicians, their children are studying abroad. I said, yeah, their children are studying abroad. What of their grandmother? What of their own mother? Are they studying abroad? People now, what they are doing is say, they're afraid to hit the nail on the board. What are they afraid of? What exactly are they afraid of? Because they know what is happening. They know that they are the ones that created this, this, this problem. And that this problem that they created is haunting them and it's going to continue haunting them. It's not going to end. So they can be running around. You don't, don't tell the truth and save your neck. Keep on running around, you know, trying to uh, make it look like uh, uh, you, you are not aware. You are, you, are, you are following the law. What law? Your country has no law. You make laws that you broke. You broke these laws that you make. So what is what is the what does it really mean anything? You see? But even they said something that Mazin Namdekanu is there. This is what he said when he left. We went to him, we spoke to him, and he gave us instructions. He told us exactly what is happening. So now they are talking about going to you cannot deport anybody from his country. You are foolish people. Think. Use your brain. Countries are not like Nigeria. Why, why did they rendition Namdekano? Because it was another foolish African country. No country in the world would, would tolerate that. You never catch a person away from here, travel, we get, we be citizen of this place, put them there. They will come there and take him. Because you have no right. You think everybody is an idiot like you. You are out there, they, you know what the problem is. You know all of you, you want to please the, your full name masters. You don't want to come out and say, let this man go, he didn't do anything. You are so afraid. And whether you say it or you don't say it, it's not going to change anything. He's going to come. When the time is ripe, he will be out here with us. We crave the indulgence of my colleagues. So go back to history. Because my people have a saying. No one a man get married be the Romanwaya, or go a man boy go push If you don't know where the rain started to beat you, you will not know when it will have also ended. This matter of sit at home started 
in 2021, August 2021, when the agitation group called IPOB insisted that they will go on a seat at home because of their leader held in prison in the DSS. Three weeks later, when the effect of the criminal takeover of this started to manifest, this same IPOB came out and said that they are no longer supporting sit at home, that they will have stopped. Unfortunately, very unfortunately, the Jedi had been removed from the bottle, and all manners of criminal elements had taken over and now used the sit at home to kill, to maim, to burn houses, to kill policemen and all manners of innocent people. When that continued, by December of 2021, and I need for everybody to know this, in company of former senator and our uh, former deputy Senate President Ike Ekuremado, two bishops, and the secretary of Ohaneze. I went with them to meet with their leader, Namde Kano, in the DSS headquarters. And there, we pointedly asked him, why? Did you institute this menace that is crippling the Southeast? He denied and said that the person who is going ahead and insisting that he's doing sit at home on his behalf is somebody called Simon Ekpa, living in Finland, and that he never authorized that. And that actually, the person he says that ought to represent him is another person. And he called the person's name, uh, Chike Edozian. We came back from that meeting in DSS, called a meeting of all the leaders of the Southeast, and said, this is what Namde Kano says. That he is not part of this. Yet, every Monday, what happens is this. A few miscreants, and I use the word advisedly, come out, shoot and kill one or two people, and run away, and video it and send across the whole of the Southeast, and everybody is now scared. The governors we met, the, uh, all of us in the National Assembly we have met, Everybody has condemned it. I need the Senate to know that there is no one in the Southeast except the criminals who support this seat at home. Their modus operandi is simple. It's just terror. I have called the market leaders in Abia, and I said, you can continue to stay away. And they told me that the people have threatened to burn their markets at night if they don't stay away. So this is beyond the citizenry coming out to just say we don't accept it. Because what they have done is to use terror tactics to intimidate a whole region. And we have had meetings with the DSS and all that the DSS has told us is, listen, these are just a few people. They will come out in one, one road. They will find somebody just driving along on his um, way to doing anything, shoot him. And then they will say, 
it is because of seeds at home. Take his car away, go and keep it in their den, and later go and sell it. So these are nothing but criminals. So I support this uh, motion, and especially the matter concerning someone who is a dual citizen of Nigeria and Finland, staying in Finland, giving orders, and in fact, giving, I will say, orders that you don't understand why people should accept it here. But then, criminals will always find a reason to do what they want to do. I have also had interactions with the Finnish uh, 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 embassy, and in fact, the United Nations uh, uh, head in Nigeria, who is from Finland, and what she told me was, it is a government-to-government -government interaction that will lead to a resolution of this because uh, as a citizen of Finland, that he has a right to express his uh, opinion. This is where I want you to listen very attentively. You see what he just said? They have the right to express their opinion, even whether it's legal or not. The Nigerian government were the people that created this monster that is creating this problem. They did. They ignored him. Because, you know, they are part of it. But what is making me very happy today is that now that they're going, against, going to get, get on him, he is going to open up. Ayakawaswa. He's going to call the names of those that, are, that created him. Because how come you people are coming after me now? Is this what we agreed on? Nigerians, this is a curse. What is happening to you is not Obaka. Believe me sincerely, it is not something that 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 a human being can solve. No. You need atonement. Honestly, if, if it is atonement, I don't know what to call it because I don't really, I don't really, I'm not really very good at uh, at uh, at knowing this uh, religious uh, whatever. But if you really know what you are doing you realize that you need you need you you need deliverance actually <laughs> if that is the proper word because i don't really know what i'm i'm short of words people are there fooling yourself your dad even in the senate there where they are talking there are many of them now that are that will fight against going to meet the guy because the going to meet him is Akwasa. okay and i saw we talk, and i saw now one do i mean is it the game you guys want to play when i don't forget now and i set me up now and i feel because as soon as our leader was abducted from Kenya, this fellow was announced by BBC and Punch newspaper. We well, don't forget that. That Namdekano now has a new replacement. Before we even knew that Namdekano was abducted. Not that they said it a week before, no. The day before we even heard the news, it was now you know, immediately replaced. They use him, according to them, they replace Mars in Namdekano. Today, Frankenstein have created a monster. <laughs> a monster. This monster cannot, they cannot control the monster. Keep on pursuing him. Go to him, get him. Punish him, bring him down. You, you can't abduct him anyway because that one is not possible. Unless probably you could have lured him into an African country where you go and uh, get people to, to abduct him the way they did to Mars in Namdekano. But the point is that it's most dangerous because he is now going to start telling the names or calling the names of those who are supporting him. Let them not pretend as if they don't know what's going on. The solution, a problem is get Mars in Namdekano out. That is all. They are using his name to commit this crime. And you have gone to him. Politicians have gone and the man have said, I never authorized this. This is something that I need, I need us to listen to this very attentively, honestly. Of 2021, and I need for everybody to know this, in company of former senator and our 
uh, former deputy Senate President Ike Ekuremado, two bishops, and the secretary of Ohaneze. I went with them to meet with their leader, Namde Kano, in the DSS headquarters. And there, we pointedly asked him, why did you institute this menace that is crippling the Southeast? He denied and said that the person who is going ahead and insisting that he's doing sit at home on his behalf is somebody called Simon Ekpa living in Finland and that he never authorized that. And that actually the person he said that ought to represent him is another person. And he called the person's name uh, Chike Edozian. We came back from that meeting in DSS, called a meeting of all the leaders of the Southeast and said, this is what Namde Kano said, that he is not part of this. Yet, every Monday, what happens is this, a few miscreants, and I use the word advisedly, come out, shoot and kill one or two people, and run away and video it and send across the whole of the Southeast and everybody is now scared. The governors we met, the, uh, all of us in the National Assembly we have met, everybody has condemned it. I need the Senate to know that there is no one in the Southeast except the criminals who support this sit at home. Their modus operandi is simple. It's just terror. I have called the market leaders in Abia and I said, you can't continue to stay away. And they told me that the people have threatened to burn their markets at night if they don't stay away. So this is beyond the citizenry coming out to just say we don't accept it. Because what they have done is to use terror tactics to intimidate a whole region. And we have had meetings with the DSS and all that the DSS has told us is, listen, these are just a few people. They will come out in one, one road. They will find somebody just driving along on his um, way to doing anything, shoot him, and then they will say it is because of sit at home. Take his car away, go and keep it in their den, and let her go and sell it. So these are nothing but criminals. So I support this uh, motion, and especially the matter concerning someone who is a dual citizen of Nigeria and Finland, staying in Finland, giving others, and in fact, giving, I will say, others that you don't understand why people should accept it here. But then, criminals will always find a reason to do what they want to do. I have also had interactions with the Finnish uh, 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 embassy, and in fact, the United Nations uh, uh, head in Nigeria, who is from Finland, and what she told me was, it is a government-to-government -government interaction that will lead to a resolution of this, because uh, as a citizen of Finland, that he has a right to express his uh, opinion. But I can tell you, my dear colleagues, each and every one of us has suffered greatly from what is happening 
in the southeast. They attacked Senator Carlo when he was doing campaign. They attacked me. There's nobody. They have not tried to intimidate. But we cannot be intimidated because we are in a country that has rule of law. And so I support this motion in its entirety. And when the time comes for the, um, for the prayers, if there's anything I will add, we will. But we want to urge our colleagues and the rest of Nigeria to see this matter, not just as a Southeast matter, but as a matter for Nigeria. I saw. Yes. Like I said before, they, 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 they are just trying, trying everything to make it look like uh, uh, they don't know what the problem is. From the beginning, IPOB had exonerated themselves, had tried to stop. In fact, if I go back on my records here, we have jingles that we did in different languages, trying to tell them that, this, that we don't support this at home, that whoever is doing is doing on his own. They go in there, they went there, they asked Mazinam the Khan, and he told them himself categorically that he is, which is exactly what happened. IPOB started it, IPOB ended it. With not just ending it verbally, no. It was consistently on radio, in broken English, I remember. It was done in broken English, it was done in Igbo language, it was done in proper English. The jingles are still here, if I can go back to it. They pretend, they block their ear. Today is hurting everybody. Why can't you people understand that Mazin Namdu's mission is a divine mission? That as above, so below, you cannot do anything about it. You can't stop it. Either way you try, you are going to fail. How many times have you tried to kill him? Started from Kujie prison. He threw in tear gas in his cell. He survived it. They went to Afaruku Ibeku, the biggest one. They killed. He survived it. You took him from Kenya. You brought him back. He survived it. And you think you're going to be successful with him? Why can't you people just give up? Because IPOB is a, it's on a divine mission. IPOB is something that was not created by normal human. It was created by Chukoki Kabiyama. And the guidance of Chukoki, the hand of God, of the creator of the universe is with us. Let me listen to this man because I think this looks like a GFO, our not a Jimako, not a Jimako, but it's GFO. GFO is the IPOB uh, lead council. I mean, uh, yes, it was Akome. And uh, there's something that he's saying here. I don't listen to this privacy, but somebody just inboxed it to me right now. So maybe I'll air it. I know whatever he's going to say has to do with what we are doing. So, a few days after, about, I mean, on a Monday or about three days after, he specifically instructed Namdekano specifically, I want me to be, I want to be quoted clearly today. He specifically instructed that I should pass a message to the leadership to call off the setup phone. Because you understand that he's working a great interest against our people. And if it's not well managed, the, some three elements will take advantage of that to cause problems, which is what is playing out now. So, and they obeyed, obeyed him and cut off the start home. But however, there are things that had happened before then. There are people that, uh, that are clearly usurping the powers which you don't have. Uh, so, they see it as an advantage, as a, as a kind of an opportunity to launch their, this demino, their matrices into the flight. But I'm not saying they're launching themselves into limelight. They're launching their criminal activities into limelight. So they use the opportunity, aided by those who are supposed to understand the plight of Mazin Namdekano, aided them in going ahead to declare this land at home. They will, stand, they, will, they will sleep and wake up the following morning and say that uh, today is at home. So, and he is getting these briefings on a daily basis. Okay. And when it has gotten to a level that he will speak up, on June 28, he came out to say those things. And he can also observe that he, wasn't, he was not happy when he was saying it. And he was not told to say it. He was not told to say it. He had a, was not as if he, 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 he saw the opportunity. He now passed that message to the people to understand that's not part of them and they're not working for him. 
because Nam Bekam is a peaceful person and they run a peaceful global movement. So, and they continue to exploit it. Now, I will say this to you. What is happening in the Southeast on account of incidents that's from being called by Simon Eka is effectively being aided by Nigerian security agents. Yes. Because what is playing out in the social media today, you won't tell me they're not having this intelligence about how they operate. And I can assure you, you are into media. Go and cross the facts. Nigerian government has not for one day rose to condemn the activities of pronouncement by Simon Eka. Not one day. Now, because it was a script, a script, a script, a script, a script right. which is targeted towards black belling this global peace movement, I think. In probably in cohort with in parenthesis in, in bracket, international community. Now, sometime in March last year, to be let me drive this point clear. In March last year, that was um um that was Precisely on a, on on a, on March no yes March March last two to three this year the global terrorism index made a publication classifying IPUB as a dangerous group. Now IPUB has before them in making publication distancing themselves from the activities from heinous activities of Simon Evan Group. Who are purporting to be acting for Nambikana that period. Before then, he was he baptized himself as Nambikana disciple. From there, metamorphosed into into um into school specialist for IPUB. From there, when it became when it became clear to him that IPUB has neutralized that position, he now uh, uh himself is the, the position of prime minister of um, the Afrika the African government in Asia. So he enabled him to continue. But in actual fact, it's not working for Namikan. And I know why I am doing this detail. So when, because I'm, why they, why they issue this publication? And I immediately, because I immediately issued a rejoinder on 16th of March, 2023, detailing the activities of Simon Evan Group and criminal examples. And also pointing to the fact that I previously as a peaceful global movement that distanced themselves in various publications. And also volunteer to assist the security agents in fishing out these criminal elements. These are not something a word of mouth is, is contained in the various publications, which I will, not, I will not mention the dates it's done. So on, on March 17th, IPOB also issued a agenda protesting. And a portion to this, a, threat, a letter was sent to, 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 to Global Index. The letter was sent to that instance for them to retract immediately. And upon investigation of the complaint and submission by IPUB and my humble self as right to IPUB, they on 27th of March issued a retraction retracting that classification. I'm talking about global terrorism index. They, 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 they retracted that complication. Now, IPUB made a publication on 22nd of August 2021, distancing themselves from activity, activities of criminal elements who hijacked the process, probably who saw the guard created by the temporary uh, 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 exit of Nambikan, or probably of Bakun Greba Nambikan's uh, venture to the causing, unleashing mayhem, killing people, kidnapping, and doing all sorts of things in the Southeast. Then they also issued, issued another publication on 11th of January, 2022, followed by another publication on 26th of March, 2022, Followed by another publication on 6th of December 2022. Followed by another publication on 23rd of February 2023. Followed by another publication by 20th, 29th of March 2023. Followed by another publication on 17th of April 2023. And 3rd July 2023. These are different publications from IPUB as a peaceful global movement. Distancing themselves from the activities of Simon Eva. And also indicting Nigerian security agents. Of, now, me, So, so um, I also issued I also issued publication because now they cannot mandate me to issue this publication and acting as his lawyer and lawyer to IPUB. I issued this publication distancing the activities of Simon Eva from 
mass in Africa. This, these locations were dated 1st of October 2022. Another one, another one was issued on 10th of November 2022. Another one was issued on 17 November 2022. Another one was issued on 20th of November 2022. Then already on 5th of December, I was granted a four hour starting minutes interview where I discussed a number of issues. I took time in Igbo language to educate our people and tell them what Nandi can stand for. And tell them the messages from Nandi can convey the message from Nandi can. That they should stop listening to someone who is advocating, advocating violence. That's not working. I want to be quoted today very clearly. Nandi Kano, Mazin Nandi Kano, gave specific instruction to someone close to him. I may not mention the name, the person knows himself. Instructing him to file action against someone at the Finland. And the feedback he got from them was that action has been filed. The feedback he got from them that what that action has been fine to find action against Simon Eba on his activities in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the southeast on his behalf. They should find action against him in Finland. He gave that order, that instruction. Put me correctly. The feedback Nam can receive from those who gave that instruction was that action has been fine. But in fact, in fact, nothing has been done. An order he gave, I know he'll be asked soon, and when he come out, everything will be in the open. Man, for those, for those who are still throwing that part of legion of bad wagons, let me say this to you. I am IPOB lead counsel today. I've been handling today, we have over 1,000 cases across the various courts in the South East Nigeria. In Abu Dhabi, we, we are defending, defending, we are defending IPOB and members of IPOB. When this criminal element started, I got at a different instruction from the leadership of IPUB. And it is time for us to start to file them because once they are arrested, once they are arrested, I mean deviant groups, once they are arrested, who are working with Simon Eba, and once they are arrested, and probably the 10 other in the police station, SSS, or, the, or, or prison, they write their members of IPUB. You belong to IPUB, yes, you are members of IPUB. Now the leadership now started to file them. Once you call me or probably send a message to the office, my office, that you're in detention at this time. I said, please, leave to the that I am not a liar. Today, today, by that intro, by that package they introduced, we have them in their thousands in prison custody and police detention facilities without nobody asking for being aware about it. Because Simon Epp is giving them directive on what to do. I hope I make this sense to you. There are many of them today in various detention facilities across the states. Without somebody asking them, what is happening? How can we get you out? Because some of them may have been either arrested in the course of the forces at home, which has been called off by, 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 by leadership of people and by, by Nabi Kano too. And they, they enforce them. Someone will sleep in Finland and wake up and say, and, 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 and declare that shutdown of the entire house for the two weeks. And All right. Uh, that was a good one that just came up. And, um, Fortunately, unfortunately, it didn't go through to the end because I uh, was really saying something that is very interesting. You see, our people, because of their stubbornness and the thing that they, they know when they actually don't really know much, they are not paying attention. These are, these are all, how many times did we say it here on radio here? That that man was a monster created by them. Did you listen to what the lawyer just said? It's them. They're indicting them. At DSS, they know. These are games that they play. And our senators will sit down there and be waving their hand left, right, and center. Nam the can will come out. We're here, We're here, one of our sisters. That is Mirinshi. So there's nothing you can do about him except to let him go. See, somebody sent me this clip right, right now and it's just a coincidence with exactly what we are what, what to talk about this morning. That they are basically created this problem. Okay, now, even the people that are going to see him, according to him, I don't know who, he didn't want to mention the person's name. He gave him the power to indict this man there. He will not do it. Because the, the paymasters is the government of Nigeria, the Zoo government, 
They are the ones that created this monster. So how would they go? The Finnish government says it's government to government. Which government? Nigerian government won't be interested because if you are trying to arrest that man, he's going to open up. He's going to say things since asking it, you know. So let's let me see if this will play to the end because he just stopped abruptly and I'm not very happy about it. I won't tell him to finish what he's saying. So a few days after, about I mean, on a Monday of about three days after, he's basically instructed. Now become specifically. I want me to be I want to be quoted clearly today. He specifically instructed that I should pass a message to leadership to call off the staff home. Because you understand that he's working a great interest against our people. And if he thought well managed, the some clear elements will take advantage of that. Now, this portion that he's saying, I want to talk about this. You remember we started the city at home, and all of a sudden, when the DSS called it up, which he do, Jim said, no, enough of it. I know the hell turned loose because a lot of people were talking to me. How can he stop this? Oh, this man is a saboteur. Oh, he is sabotaging what we're doing. I said to them, <laughs> I remember somebody I spoke with, I said, why are you drinking Panadol with somebody's headache? Mazen Namdekanu told us specifically that the person is going to be in charge is Chika Edozian when he's not there. He didn't tell you that uh, Ike is going to be in charge or whoever. He said DSS or DOS, I'm sorry, it's in the names. That they're going to be in charge. Whatever instruction they give, that's it. That's me there. You know, I was just, just telling you, as far as I'm not there, these are the people. So, whatever they say goes. When the man comes out that gives him a job, comes out, he's never going to question me or you or any of us. No. Of course, on that, I'll judge you now. <laughs> I gave you a job. What did you do with my work that I gave you? So, talking about it or bothering about what they are doing is like drinking somebody else's Panadol. Drinking Panadol for somebody's headache. It's not your headache. This is the way we are going because this was why you know, when they started to sit at home, when they called it off, now we are hearing that it was our leader who specifically gave that instruction. Don't jump into somebody's problem because you don't know. You know this is the specifically the instruction that came out of our leader and he gave it to him to pass it on. And he did. And Indo Yororo did what he wanted to do. All of us are the back right, the back backseat drivers. You know, when you know, as we now say, all of you are turn here, turn here. You know, our backseat. Happy when I am motor, when I am motor, when I just nap all that sleep, sleep and enjoy, have fun. Can't be awake when you are not the one driving. When you are not motor, when you are supposed to be awake, even though you want to keep awake because you want to talk to him. Yes, that's good, good thing. But you are not obligated. It's not your job. Cause problem. Which is what is playing out now. So, and they obeyed, obeyed him and called off the start home. But, however, there are things that had happened before then. There are people that uh, there are clearly usurping the powers which you don't have. Uh, so, they see it as an advantage, as a, as a kind of an opportunity to launch their, this demino, their malfeasance into the flag. They are not saying they are launching themselves into limelight, they are launching their criminal activities into limelight. So they used the opportunity, aided by those who are supposed to understand the plight of Mazin Amrikan, aided them in going ahead to declare this is at home. They will, stand, they, will, they will sleep and wake up the following morning and say that uh, today is at home. So, and he is getting these briefings on a daily basis. Getting it, and when it has gotten to a level that he will speak up, on June 28, he came out to say those things. And he can also observe that he, wasn't, he was not happy when he was saying it. And he was not told to say it. He was not told to say it. He had a, was not saying, he, 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 he saw the opportunity. He now passed that message to the people to understand that's not part of them and they're not working for him. Because Nam became a peaceful person and they run a peaceful global movement. So, and they continue. Just it. Now, I will say this to you. What is happening in the Southeast 
on account of incidents that's from being called by Simon. It's effectively being aided by Nigeria's security agents. Yes. Because what is playing out in the social media today, you won't tell me they're not having this intelligence about how they operate. And I can assure you, you are into media. Go and cross the facts. Nigerian government has not for one day rose to condemn the activities of pronouncement by Simon Eva. Not one day. Now, because it was a script, a script, a script, a script, a script which is targeted towards black belling this global peace movement, I think. In probably in cohort with in parenthesis in, in bracket, international community. Now, sometime in March last year, to be, let me draw this point clear. In March last year, that was um um that was precisely on a, on on a, on March. Oh, yes, last, March last 2023, this year, the Global Terrorism Index made a publication classifying IPUB as a dangerous group. Now, IPUB has before them been making publications, distancing themselves from the activities, from heinous activities of Simon Urban Group, who are purporting to be acting for Nambican and IPUB. Before then, he was he baptized himself as Nambican disciple. From there, metamorphosed into into um, into school specialist for IPUB. From there, when it became when it became clear to him that IPUB has neutralized that position, he now uh, uh, himself the, the the position of prime minister of um, the Afrag, the Afrag government in Israel. So it enabled him to continue. But in actual fact, he's not working for Namibia, and I know why I am doing this detail. So when because I'm uh, why they why they issue this publication, and I immediately because I immediately issued a rejoinder on 16th of March 2023, detailing the activities of Simon Evans Group and Criminal Grounds, and also pointing to the fact that IPUB as a peaceful global movement has distanced themselves in various publications and also volunteer to assist the security agents in fishing out these criminal elements. These are not something a word of mouth is is containing that various publication which I won't I will not mention the dates it's done. So on on March 17th, IPOB also issued a gender protesting. And a portion to this, a threat, a letter was sent to to, 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 to go and there. The letter was sent to that instance for them to retract immediately. And upon investigation of the complaint and submission by IPOB and my humble self as well to IPOB. The on 27th of March issued a retraction retracting that classification. I'm talking about global terrorism index. They, 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 they retracted that complication. Now, IPOB made a publication on the 2nd of August 2021, distancing themselves from activity, activities of criminal element who hijacked the process, probably who saw the gap created by the temporary. A, 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 a exit of Nambican or probably of Bakun Grebat Nambican's attention to the causing me, unleashing me him, killing people, kidnapping, and doing all sorts of things in the Southeast. Then they also issued, issued another publication on 11th of January 2022, followed by another publication on 26th of March 2022, followed by another publication on 6th of December 2022, followed by another publication on 23rd of February 2023. From our publication by the 9th of March 2023. From our publication on 17th of April 2023. And 3rd July 2023. These are different publications from IPUB as a peaceful global movement. Distancing themselves from the activities of Simon Eva. And also indicting Nigerian security agents. Oh, now, me. So, so um, I also issued. I actually issued publication because now they cannot mandate me to issue this publication and acting as his lawyer and lawyer to IPUB. I issued this publication distancing the activities of Simon Eva from Mazin Nambicano. These, these publications were dated 1st of October 2022. Another one, was, another one was issued on 10th of November 2022. Another one was issued on 17th of November 2022. Another one was issued on 20th of November 2022. 
Then already a Biafra on 5th of December. I was granted a four hour starting this interview where I discussed a number of issues. I took time in Igbo language to educate our people and tell them what Nandi can stand for and tell them the messages from Nandi can convey the message from Nandi can that they should stop listening to someone who is advocating, advocating violence. That's not working. Too. I want to be quoted today very clearly. Nandi Kano, Mazin Nandi Kano, gave specific instruction to someone close to him. I may not mention the name, the person knows himself. Instructing him to file action against someone at the Finland. And the feedback he got from them was that action has been filed. The feedback he got from them that what that action has been fine to file action against Simon Eba on his activities in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the southeast on his behalf. They should file action against him in Finland. He gave that order, that instruction. Put me correctly. The feedback Nam the can receive from those who gave that instruction was that action has been fine. But in fact, in fact, nothing has been done. An order he gave. I know he'll be asked soon, and when he come out, everything will be in the open. Now, for those, for those who are still throwing that part of legion of bad wagons, let me say this to you. I am IPOB lead counsel today. I've been handling today, we have over 1,000 cases across the various courts in the South East in Nigeria, in Abuja here too. We are, we are defending, defending our work, we are defending IPOB, and members of IPOB. When this criminal element started, I got at a different instruction from the leadership of IPUB. It is time for us to start profiling because once they are arrested, once they are arrested, I mean deviant groups, once they are arrested, who are working with Simon Eber, and once they are arrested, and probably the 10 other in the police station, SSS, or, or, or prison, they write their members of IPUB. Do you belong to IPUB? Yes, we are members of IPUB. Now the leadership now started profiling. Once you call me or probably send a message to the office, my office, that you're in detention at this time. I said, please, they have to be with the chief. I am not a liar. Today, today, by that introduction, by that strategy they introduced, we have them in their thousands in prison custody and police detention facilities without nobody asking for me now about. Because Simon is giving them directive on what to do. I hope I make this sense to you. There are many of them today in various detention facilities across the states. Without somebody asking them. What is happening? How can we get you out? Because some of them may have been either arrested in the course of enforcement at home, which has been called off by, 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 by leadership of IPB and by, by Nandi Kano too. And they, they're enforcing. Someone will sleep in Finland and wake up and say, and, 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 and declare that shutdown of the entire house for the two weeks. And No, 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 no. What should I do? There is no way to this place. But I want our people to be very calm. Oh, I want their problem to be calm. Sure. Some peaceful. Calm and very, very peaceful. We are fighting to defend our people. Not to kill, Not them. To kill them. Yes. We are fighting to defend them. That's why I'm here. Yes. And we'll continue to do so. Until we get to The voice of the tiger. <laughs> All right, this is Radio Biafra USA too. We have a top time. We can take calls if you if you have anything to say. Just call us at six four six nine two zero four five four one eight four five three four four seven nine eight four nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. It's your, you know, the internet doesn't lie when you say things and people don't want to pay attention. These are all planned, but they are failing. They are like drowning people. They don't know what to do. They are confused. Somebody's out there declaring. Crime, you know, people are committing crime. They know him. They know his name. They know where he lives. They know who he is. The government, not for one day, have they gotten up to criticize them? No, because they know it was easier to say, "Oh, it's IPOB. Oh, it's ESN." And those days are over. You will have beginning to learn something. The lines are open for you. Just call us if you want to. Don't pray, Victor. Freedom. All right, I have a call coming in. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, Martin. There you well. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Um, 
matter of fact, um, I'm with this is where I'm calling from my location. Deal. Yeah, um, Mazi, um, this year, uh, your program, this year, huh? I'm very happy for this, uh, for this clip that you play now. Hmm? I don't know if you, if you have listened to a lot of my uh, press, uh, this interview, because, yeah, in, in, like, two days ago. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. Uh, because, now, when you listen to this, this very clip you played now, who, who, allow you, uh, um, who, if I, if you is very good. I want to give honor to allow you to go to see someone in every market boy in Finland. But he didn't do that. To allow you to go. And now, allow you to go was was granted in Tanzania. In Tanzania, in Tanzania, in Nigeria. And this one, was this one, this allow you to go. Yeah, this one speak talk group. You know what he do? He was standing here and defending Samoneba. 
kalau hidup aku dan kalau di sedih saya so much all right this is radio we are we're still taking calls six four six nine two zero four five four one eight four five three four four seven nine eight four nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three call us whenever you're ready the lines are open for you don't pray victor you want to love you have to love you no oh yeah Freedom, na udo kai na rio. Anya choni hi mo mo bara na ino. Aye bundi biya fula bundi judo na aga. Obi makiru ma ke juna jaga no. Oga de kwa rai na ma. Ise. Omo biya fula biya kene biya kene. Ya shura na sako. Ibo wen ma do no no. Ibo wen ma na na sako. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, man. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, sir. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. <laughs> I know hear you, well, sir. I know you can hear me. Yes, yes good afternoon, dear friends uh, from uh, Lovers of Freedom. Uh, Mazi, I just want to thank you once again for stand strong in what you believe and uh, educating dear friends. Mazi, we have come out for this struggle. We have come out. There's no going back. Mas, my question here is this. Who is this Salon Ejimako? Is this a special counsel to our lead or special counsel to IPUB? Do you know about this man very well? Well, what I know, what I know is that he claims to be this. Hello? The special, um, the special counsel to our leader. Mas, I, I can you hear? Back. I can't hear you very well. Let me call back. Maybe it's from the internet. I, okay. Let me call back, sir. Call us back, no I problem. I can hear very well. All right. Thank you. you. Call back, uh, call back and then we'll take 
side of it from here. This is Radio Biafra USA too. Ejimako is a special counsel to Mazen Namdekano. <laughs> He's not an IPOB lawyer. That's what he claimed anyway, so I don't really know much. But what I know is that based on what he said, he's a special counsel, uh, individual like an individual lawyer that our leader has. Freedom! That's all I know. Now, we're talking about And you're telling him what for, but I'm going to be able 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 to be yeah, Maz, I am the guy that called, just called a couple of minutes ago. Uh, Maz, my question is this, if you can hear me very well. Can hear you. Who is this man, Aloye Jimako? Do you know about him very well, sir? Well, like I said, I've just said it on air. The, what I know about him is that he claims to be a special counsel for Maz in Namdekan. That's all. That's all I can tell you. Because I know that IPOB... Yeah, Maz, IPOB why has... I ask this question? I'm sorry for... Yeah, why well, I ask this question is when our leader is uh, outside, when we are with our leader, I never hear about this man. This man involved himself in the rendition of our leader from Kenya to Nigeria. Now, this man coming out now claiming that he's a special counsel to Nam de Kano. And the, the news this, this man is bringing out, Mars, is it this guy? I don't think that this guy meant good for us. I'm sorry to say this, but what I'm seeing, I'll be following this man, watching the, this man's body language and his steps. I believe that this man did not make good to us. Let me say why I said this, because I'm entitled to my opinion. As a, I'm sorry if I, if I said it the way that is not uh, suitable it's to okay. you, it's but okay. I'm entitled to my opinion. What I'm saying is this. This guy, when our leader was renditioned from Kenya to, 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 to the zoo for Nigeria, this is the time this man appears, claiming that he's a special counsel to, to Inam the Kano, not to IPOB, to Inam the Kano. Yeah. And they sometimes he say he went to Abuja to meet Inam the Kano, he's doing this. What, everything that he has been claiming that he has been pointing towards our leader, we never see any effect on it. One time he came out, he claimed that he won the um, Umar High Court, Umar Federal High Court. The Inam the Kano won, is it uh, 150 billion naira or what on that? We never see anything. He just talking, 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 talking. The same man now, I don't know what's wrong now. This man is working with our enemy. This man is, is, is I think this man is not supposed to. I think the, what this man is bringing out, say that in the county is saying, Maz, I begin to doubt it. It's not true. This man is not seeing our leader. This man is a fake. I'm sorry to say this, but it's what I'm saying because I'm following the footsteps for this man and I see people that monitoring this guy. This guy is a fake. Believe me, Mazen. Yeah. The letter they brought out that our leader, you know, I, I don't, I, I maybe have some day clip that going on, going viral right now. The conversation he has with this Ekperima in Finland, what he told Ekperima and the reply Ekperima gave to him, he said, he claimed that he went to Abuja. Why he did not went to Abuja? He went to Enugu. He said he went to Enugu to replace this guy because he went to Enugu to, to, to talk to the governor of Enugu state about sitting at whether the man will agree to you know to pay some money so that uh, they will come to sit at home in Enugu that everything will be okay. And this guy just you know guaranteeing doing things that he's not supposed to be. I'm not castigating him because it's, it's not uh, but the way the man is moving around Mars, eh, we have to look into this man. I we have to look into him because uh, we're not seeing anything that uh, good that this man is bringing out this man is bringing false 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 information out this is false information that is from him the Kano. the letter he brought out we never verify it but we are looking into that that letter i don't think that nam the Kano will write a letter of this nature given to him i don't believe that man that man is not for us if if our dos we look into this man because i heard uh, our brother china some word one time he said we should not drag this man into social media. We should not drag uh, Jamaica into social media that they know how to settle the case. I want our, our, our leaders now to know how to settle this man case. I need to me, to me, Mas, let me say my mind. To me is to sack this man. Sack him. He's not special counsel for nobody. This man is fake. This man is hungry. Man is looking for money here and there. This man is fake. That's what I want to say here, Mas. I wrote. I may mean, uh, offend many guys, uh, many people in this, uh, what I'm saying now, but this is my mind. This man is fake, total fake, believe me. Mazi, thanks for having me and God bless you. Thank, right, you. thank you so much. Thank you very much for your thoughts. Uh, these are 
like I said before, all I know about him, we rightly said that uh, he wasn't on the scene when our leader was outside. His name started surfacing. In fact, at the point, I got him confused with our real uh, lawyer because all the car called, the other one is Iji, Iji Marco, this is uh, Iji Ofo. So I thought it was one person that was like a family. His name wasn't in the scene until our leader was renditioned. That's when he, he surfaced. So I cannot really vie for him or tell you much about him that because there's nothing that I know. What I know is exactly what you have said because he called himself special counsel, the man's in And uh, that's what I know him to be. All right, I have another call coming in. Let me take this one. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Caller, good morning. Uh, uh, good, uh, good morning to you, uh, veteran, and uh, good morning to your friends and lovers of freedom. No. Uh, my name is Ifan Chukumadauchi, uh, and I'm calling from the Netherlands. Uh, thank you, my brother, for picking my call. And thank you for your service to our motherland. Um, my heart, my soul have been disturbed, my, my brother. I must tell you this, because um, I'm an active member of IPOB. I saw the effort to tear down IPOB after the rendition of our leader. And uh, if somebody who calls himself a lawyer, a learned man, an adult that is following the event, had been following the event, I didn't want to say anything about that man because I knew that he was working with Canon uh, 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 Nago. He was working with, uh, you know, fringe elements. I said, and I followed the instruction of our, uh, you know, one of our members of the Directorate of State, that is our brother, China Sangoru, to leave him alone, that they will know how to handle the thing behind the scenes, because my, my thought was, okay, let him, let them, let us be managing this situation until our leader comes out, uh, then the, 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 you know, the weed will be removed from the corn. So that is where we are. And this man who calls himself a lawyer, who knew what we have gone through, the saga this man, the man who came out on 28th of February last year, said that he has uh, disbanded the DOS, that they have, uh, he has closed the DOS. He called us IPOB experiment. He called IPOB miscreant. He called IPOB criminals. He called our uh, director of state all manner of names. This man did his level best with his colleagues to tear down IPOB. And our lawyer, Jimako, in good conscience, we come to apologize. It may be this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what Aloy Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. It may be this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what Aloy Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. It may be this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. It may be this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. It may be this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB, he will dismantle IPOB, because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize, it may be this is what somebody said, if somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB, he will dismantle IPOB, because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize, it may be this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because 
what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. He may be, this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. He may be, this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. He may be, this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. He may be, this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB, you will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. He may be, this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB, you will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday, just to apologize. He may be, this is what somebody said. If somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday. Somebody said, if somebody said if he said something, he would say he would tear down uh, uh, IPOB. He will dismantle IPOB. Because what a lawyer Jumako said, what I, I had him on the media say yesterday. yesterday. Concert Bell, Concert Bell, Concert Bell. Dear friends and lovers of freedom around the world, there will be an all stars concert tour of Biafra artists coming up soon in Tokyo, Japan. This concert is aimed at spreading the gospel of Biafra to every nook and crannies of the earth. We are bringing the gospel to the streets of Asia, and Tokyo, Japan will be its starting point. We are using this opportunity to appeal to Umu Chineke around the world to lend our music stars a financial helping hands to make this concert tour realizable. To make any donation, please contact veteran Ike Peter on plus one eight four five three four four seven nine eight four or plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. You can also contact Mazi Okechuku Foreign on plus 39351137 or plus 48579332439. Yeah, that has to do with the tour. I told you about the Japan. There are people are going to Japan performance uh, to spread the news of Biafra all over the world. If you want a free, free will donation, that's all we're calling for. If you want to make that donation, please call us here and we'll let you know where you can do it. But if you are a standing member of IPOB and you know where you pay your dues, do the same thing there. All we need you to do is send us the receipt indicating payment and make sure that when you pay to your unit, you tell them exactly what the money is for. This contribution you're doing towards the the movement of our people. Uh, like I promised you before the end of the week or by next week, I'll start giving you exactly updates on how much we've collected on air. I don't have to really, but uh, what I need, I don't really have to call names, but I need to tell you how much we're expecting and what, what it will cost us to, you know, sponsor one of the artists. Already I've been made to understand that there are about eight of them doing the tour which is not going to be bad. So we need money. We need money. We need money. All you can do is, you know, make your peaceful donation and uh, don't let it pass you by. Don't be, this one day you will grow up and say, yes, I was part of the people that did this. And you'll be very, very proud as you did. This is Radio Biafra. We're still taking calls at 646 9204541 8453447984 our priority today is to make sure that our leader hits the street, comes out of that dungeon, that place that he is, and the truth will come out. More truths will be revealed, you know. So just a time, matter of time, and things will come up and take its normal course. This is Radio Biafra. We're still here. Call us. The lines are still very much open for you.
From the east, south, and the middle, great be our friend, people. We take killing to idol worship, and, and we lost the faith of our God. And as we want Lord in idol worship, and the British entered in, hey, training on the Niger, exploiting Japan. All right, I have a call. Call at the morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Mazio Akbita, good good morning. My name is Mazio Tsiyo I'm calling from France. Welcome to the uh, Good morning once yeah. again. We are talking about this uh, the same man, Aloye Jinako issue. You know, four years ago or four to five years ago, our leader said something, and it's inside our archive. He said he said that he sent him an error. To do something for him, he refused. He come to the air and said that the a lawyer Jimako is not part of his lawyers and he's not working with him. But since this man, since our leader entered, uh, they kidnapped him and rendition him. He was trying to drag himself into part of them because their siblings are working with him in able to criminalize us and also to stop and also making deal with the governors of the Easterners and all the whole politicians in Nigeria. And if you check the record of this uh, Aloye Jimako in America, where you are living, if you like, you can go to your, your distant, your hill, something hill, and, and, and just check his profile. It's a criminal that they bound in America not to come to America because of what the dirty thing which he did in America. You know, well, the last thing I want to say about, about the, the letter that he, he, he sent last week, if you check very deeply, you know that this is a fake information, but the signature is not our leader that sent it. It's the, the sibling of Mazina and the Carlo that, that fake all those things with him. And you know, last week, they opened a new radio. And all those people that China Samoru and the, our DOS have uh, bound, starting from Ikechiko Noara, Tare Nemi, Madam Nene Anya, and all of them, both the coordinators in America that they bound during that time, all of them joined together and they are doing all, all kinds of rubbish there. One thing I want to say, that, Biafran, we need to be careful and be, be watchful because they are the moles and we are going to dig all of them and we bury them and thank you, and thank you. And I'm so happy that the, the lawyer have come out and do interview. Although the interview that he did, he just trying to implicate us. But thank God we have somebody called Ifan a, 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 a Jofo and the son, because, and they also Masweet. If the, we did not have three of them, I tell, I tell you through this man, can, can, they can win us, and they can even put uh, allegation in our head. But thank God that we have this, this three uh, giant, uh, wonderful uh, lawyer, barrister and the son, and they are defending in our means and they are part of us. But him is a criminal and he's an, he's an, he's an, he's an, he's an, he's an criminal. He's, an, he's, he's, he's supposed to be stoned in, his, in, his, in the front of his father's home. Thank All you. hey, Biafra. Bye bye from now. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Like I said before, I am still saying it. I never know who this man was. I never, I don't even pay attention to him. I know it's your fault, and I know as Maxwell, who you just called. These are people that I know. This other person, to be perfectly and honest with you, I don't know him. I don't. And um, the NIP will be, as far as I'm concerned, our, li our name is the indigenous people of Biafra. Our channel is Radio Biafra. 
people can create whatever radio. I have a private radio station. Don't you know that? I do. <laughs> you know, that's where I play my artist music and everything. Radio Ramazza. That's my radio. So it has nothing to do with what we are doing. IPOB radio is Radio Biafra. People can create whatever they want. The creation of radio station is not a big deal. You can create 20 of them today. It doesn't matter. What have you, do you have a substance? If you are creating Radio Biafra because you want to actualize the existence of Biafra, so be it. But if you are creating it because you think you want to challenge anybody, you are, you are, you are, you are a, a fail failure because you will never succeed. And nobody does things for challenging. When you do things that is real, it will stay real. So anybody can create whatever they want. I don't know. I don't even know why we're talking about it because it's not important. Uh, honestly speaking, it is not. Absolutely not. It doesn't mean anything. We've had other ones before. It's not the first time that people are creating radio. And create, like I said before, if you want to create a radio, you want to create one today, tell me, I'll give you a name and then create it for you and you start broadcasting. The question is how many people are listening to you? What substance do you have to, to give it? So that's, let's not that bother us. For the case of Ejimako, as you just mentioned, I didn't know he was here in the United States. I know nothing about this person. But if he was in the U.S., I can always find out his background. There's no, there's no big deal. I don't even have to leave my house to do that. You know, but what I'm saying is that my concern, my resolution, my concern, very much concern, is our leader getting hit in the street. Here in the men, they are just trying everything by all means. But like a story I told about a pharaoh, about a king, who was not always very happy, but you no, know, who always sees a very poor man that is always very happy, and he asked him, how do you do it? The man said, look, I'll give you the antidote. So he brought him a box. I said, anytime you're not happy, look in that box, whatever you see, bring out a piece of paper and read it. So the king was not very happy, he went to the box, he brought it out, and they said, this too shall pass. This too shall pass means that this problem is not going to stay forever. Our leader, Amazin Nam Dekano, is ordained for this job. I am 100% confused. I mean confu convinced. He doesn't need to convince me. He's been written in the skies, in the stars, that this is what he's going to do. As above, so what? Below. That's what we say. That's the way we use that la language. He's already been written there. He's already brought in Biafra. Biafra is, a, is something that has already materialized. Look at Nigeria. They are going to be going down. The day Biafra will come is the day Nigeria is completely dead. And it's dying gradually. It's right now in a coma. A country that has, I don't really know what is going on. A lot of people are complaining bitterly. They go to their Senate. They sit down there. They are yawning. Some are not even in there. Because all they want for is just opportunity to go in there and bezel as much money as they want. But the truth is, embezzling of this money, of what use is it to you when you are in a, in a mess, total mess. Anybody who's thinking very well, that is really, really, really in his mind, that thinks, that gives himself, that spends time to think, knows that Nigeria is Segona. There is nothing you're going to do about it. It's very sad. You think, do you think we're enjoying it? No. We're not. The only thing that will save that country is the break of, let some people create and see if they can make life for themselves. But if that thing called Nigeria and brought together called Nigeria, it's a waste of energy and waste of time that is not going to work and will never work. This is the truth. The lines are still open for you. If you want to make a call, maybe I can take one or two more calls before I go. But this is Radio Biafra. Call me. If you don't, in the next two minutes, the lines will be all shut down. All right. See, somebody's trying to make a call. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. You have only just two minutes. Say whatever you want to say. Gola, are you there? Okay. The line has dropped itself. I don't think I need to take any more calls at this time. Okay, we can we still have time. I'm sorry. Yeah, call us. The lines are still very open for you. Maybe my I've just misread the time because right in front of me here there's a time piece and I want don't wanna ever make sure that I get beyond my time because uh my zealousy is out there. It's gonna be the next person that will come in. All right, this is Radio Biafra USA 2. Call us. The lines are still open very much. I brought in civilization. Brought in jam religion. And showed us about Africa. And we embraced them. All right, caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. 
Thank you so much. All right. Okay. These are people that on this call, they know about this person. Like I said before, I didn't know much about him. But I'm going to sit down and take a look at his profile. I don't have to leave my house. Because once a criminal is a criminal, it is not, she's not, I don't know about my bone, especially when you, when you committed the crime after you've established yourself. Maybe somebody who is, uh, who has not established himself is trying, struggling to get established, like committing a crime. And then when he cleans himself up, he becomes a good person and stays there. But if you're already a good, if you already clean yourself up, then you go commit a crime. So we were not in me now. We follow you down. When you get to a certain level, you know, become you become somebody in society and then clean up your act. This is Radio Biafra USA too. Six four six nine two zero four five four one. Eight four five three four four seven nine eight four nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. I'll take a very short break and I'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Frederick Luga brought together all them captives, including Java people, them Yorubas, and them Ariwas, and so many other people called us Nigeria, Niger area. Oh, Nigeria, people with different religion, different beliefs, yeah, different in culture and tradition, tradition. different language, different in everything, everything, overstanding and reasoning, us to coexist together. The plant of confusion Describe it as oil and the water That can never, never mix it Planted the cowboys The representatives Here in Nigeria Looting all our treasures Colonial external Marginalization of the Biafras now is the time for manifestation. Now is the time to be restored. Great Biafra be restored. I want freedom for my people. Freedom for Biafra. Ayoy, Biafra. Let up the rise and sound. Yeah, 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 yeah
Mazin IP, that's our veteran. Good yeah. afternoon from here. Welcome to the My program. name is Lemel Mazin of Asajiko. I'm calling from Blessed Land of Jaffa. Our leader remains Mazin Namdo Kuchukukano. Bahamadike one of Biafra land. Chukoku Kabiyama is our God. Biafra is our religion. On this hallowed platform is where we worship, where we learn good things, is where we worship. Mazudo Chukoku Kabiyama, who created Mazin Namdekano to liberate us, protect our leader for us, save him from the hand of evil people, try to enslave us in the name of Erohim Chukoku Kabiyama. Mazin, you know, that is a two interview you pray this uh, this uh, morning. One from uh, our lawyer, if I find a job for. That is uh, something I will push you understand. In you know, Nigeria is evil, and Nigeria don't like good things. They always buying trying to nigeria is a place where we know that they can kill many people to blackmail one person that is why enugu state today is is a, is like another another emo state because somebody who entered from from window wanted to do the will of flannies so that he can remain this seat we are not dragging any seat on any readership from them what we want is the release of our leader, Mazin Namdekano, for us. We said it several times that the IPOB are not anything forcing anybody or talking about it at home. Our, our leader cancel it. And we have been saying it here on this hallowed platform. But no, Nigeria government choose to, because some of them said that we, that we're going to form IPOB inside IPOB to destroy what we are doing. But those who are talking about sit at home, our land, let me say it, because they are never kill your own, your own, your own, your own sister or your own mother. That is why you said that somebody that is supported by federal government killing our people are doing something. You know, what you, you, you supported will come after you because we are fighting to defend our land, not to kill our people. But the federal government is now recruiting somebody. And the, the main man who, who conquered all these things is Dave Umai. He said it, and his brother, he used his brother in Finland to do all those things. But today, everybody has seen, seen it. Federal government can never extradite this idiot from Sealand. They are can because he's their own servant. He's doing their own way to blackmail IPOB. If they are killed, they will just make video, say they are IPOB. I will, we thank God that now. Only God has see a, a heart of man, know that our hand is clean. We are against people that are clean innocent people because we know in our own understanding that and man can never develop a city. Nobody, animal can never go inside the market and buy something. All human beings. That is why we love human life. That is who we are. And our leader made it possible. Any day we kill our own because we want something. We will not get that thing. And the people know the way our land is. But they are choose to use criminality to destroy us but behold nobody can destroy us they can do whatever they are like they can destroy many things they can kill to blackmail but our hand is clean so support our own securities do your own the way our leadership wants us to follow our leader must be free what we are asking for release mazin nam the can that is what we ask so that we can take me to those people that support all the evil people in our land. But they know, they know that if they are released Mazinam they can today, their own organization will not function again. That is why. And they are continue keeping him trying to doing as if said, I don't know what they are doing. Nobody can destroy our land and go to free.
and go scot free. We must do what Tukoku Kabiyama want us to do. We have been sent to do this work and we must co complete it. What we want is the freedom of our people to live like normal human beings. We are not dragging any land from anybody. We are not seeking people to come and help us. What we want, we can rebuild our home without inviting anybody. Mazin, we don't support Kabia Madrigan, support Remove fear from your eyes. Train yourself hard. These people are serious to destroy us, and only us can save our land. Thank you, Mazin. We don't support Kabia Madrigan. To call you, Mutine, can do the best we can. There there well thank you so much all right this is radio biafra usa too we're still taking calls at six four six nine two zero four five four one eight four five three four four seven nine eight four nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three call us uh, if you have anything to say this is radio biafra we're doing an interactive at this time so when the lines are open you make your call call us we're still waiting for your call but uh, what we are seeing of uh, Paramount this morning, we are talking about is our release of our leader, Mazin Amdekano, who is currently incarcerated by, um, by these people. And then they are playing the game, they are look, making it look like they are crying and talking about sit at home, sit at home, as if, as if they don't know why people just came back to sitting at home. Even though it was lifted, it was, sit at home was only of our... In fact, I remember when, when they, they made the sit at home every Monday and they eventually called it off health turned loose there were a lot of people oh the SS have sold out oh the SS, the US have sold out oh chicken this is right. the man was taking instruction from the leader and when the leader gives him instruction he's not supposed to come to us and say hey, you know my leader told me to do this no 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 he does what he does we take whatever he does for me whatever they do it's Nam the Canada that is doing it if eventually it's not Nam the Canada that get them the instruction it has nothing to do with me it's not my place to know whether it is true or not. I will always say I am taking instruction from them, and no matter what, it's unquestionable trust. We have to trust them to the fullest. This is Radio Biafra. The lines are still open at 646 Call us. Ya 
So uh, we are, they are, we are, they are already the difference is that we're not shooting bah, 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 the way I did when I was a teenager today we don't the microphone and whether they like it or they don't like it it is working it is working because look at the zoo when yesterday somebody told me that the pound sterling was almost like 1500 uh, naira to one to one pound now wow because because uh, but uh, this is what they call for themselves because our leader told them as long as you're holding Biafrans, you don't let them go, calamity will befall you. By the time I'm done with you, Somalia will be a paradise. That's exactly where we are going. And that is exactly what is playing out. There is nothing any of them can do to stop us. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're. Oh, well, I'm sorry, the line just went off. Okay, uh, we're still here. We're still taking calls about um, probably 10 minutes on the program before we go. go. So if you have anything to say, just give us a call. And um, while we are waiting for your calls, take this. <laughs> On the beat. What We done so far, we done so far, yeah, yeah. We did so far insecurity, yo. We don't suffer, die out. Yeah. We don't suffer police brutality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them say we don't get the right to ask a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all the money with the politicians carry go. Yeah. Hunger day, job no do. People suffer, hope no do. Light no the road no do. Since I was born and now I day old. Now my people look up, say them tired. Cause no hope for Nigeria. Now my people look don't wake you. Now my people look don't vex you. It's time to sing. All right, caller. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, thank you so much, Mazi, our veteran. Mm -hmm. My name is Mazi Kenneth, calling from my location. 
Welcome Where I'm coming you. from in Biafra and uh, Marzi, thank you so much for your good work you are doing. I appreciate everyone who is working as seriously for the restoration of Biafra. I pray may God Almighty Chupo Kabiyama bless you guys all. And our able leader, Marzi Namdikano, may God Almighty continue to protect him and save him, whatever he is. Shame must be upon those ones that they say Biafra will not come. Yes. Shame will be upon them. And our leader, Mazinam the Khan, will be released. He will come out and lead us into this struggle. Yes. Mazinam the Khan will remain our, our uh, leader forever and forever. No matter who is running from left and right, Mazinam the Khan will remain our leader. And those of our fallen heroes, those that are still living today, we appreciate you all for your good work, for your effort. For which Mazinam the Kano have come to take us to that promised land. For many years ago, nobody dreamed about Biafra anymore. Wazrike was doing his own. That's how Mazinam the Kano come out from there. God have sent him to come and lead us into Biafra land. Mazinam the Kano does not come to take money, to take bribe. Mazinam the Kano need our life. Mazinam the Kanu want a better life for us with the Afrans, the whole African race. That's what Mazinam the Kanu represents. But today, many people, they, all, all the things that they are doing, trying to betray Mazinam the Kanu, you are not doing this to Mazinam the Kanu. Mazinam the Kanu, if you open his mouth today, say no to the logical republic government. Say, I will not do this. He will live in millions. He will live in mansion. He will not care. But he give his life. He laid down his life. He laid down all his family members for the struggle of the earth. But you and me, that we are living today with our wife and children, happy, drinking anything, eating anything that we want to eat, but we forget this young man. We do not pray for him. Many of us, we do not pray. Many of us, we don't care. Because... You don't know what this man represents for us. Many people, they are running from left to right, deceiving people, confusing people, bringing terrorists in our land today to destroy us more and more. I tell you guys all that you are supporting evil. One day, that evil will come back to you. If you are using God to kill Biafran, you, the Biafran, you that believe that Biafra is your country, Biafra is your nation. You are used, deceiving your brothers or sister to go and kill. That knife, that gun, that stick, you used to kill your brother. The same that stick, they will use it against you. But our leader must have to, he must to be released because he's an innocent man. He come to free us, he come to lead us, he come to make us a better life tomorrow. That's why Mazinam the cannot come to free us. You think that Mazinam the Kano is doing bad things. He's not doing anything bad. The Nigerian terrorists, they bring guns to come and kill us. When they were doing protests with our flags, with everything, nobody knows everything. They kill us, they do all kinds of things. But today, Mazinam the Kano tell them that they will kill us and we will kill them. The Afra will be restored. Mazinam the Kano is fighting for a come, just a cost, the restoration of the Afra and the whole African country to be to, to, to free themselves from that mentality of slavery. That's what Mazinam the Kano is fighting for. He's fighting for you and me, for us to be safe. He's not doing bad things. But you that you think that Mazinam the Kano is doing bad things, you think that I want to punish him, you think that I want to kill him for that dream to, to not come to pass. Believe you me, Biafra must be restored. Yes. By the leadership of Mazinam the Kano. Anybody who is doing all kinds of things there, our leader, Mazinam the Kano, remains the only leader we know. He's the only truth man that we believe that he can bring Biafra, that he can do things to change in Biafra land. All the killings in Biafra land today, those governors, those Ohanese, those evil leaders, those Biafra people that they say they represent us, the Nigerian government, they are the people sending these people to come and kill us. They are the ones doing all this crime in Biafra land today because they want to destroy the, the movement of the Biafran struggle, because they want to put Mazinam Bikano into shame. Believe you me, you cannot put shame to Mazinam Bikano face. That shame will come upon you with your generation. You and I want to say this to Biafrans all over the world. Those that they are killing us, 
in Biafra land, those that are pointing to hand to us in everywhere we be in all over the world. We, their children is there. Their siblings is there. We will first of all start with their children. We will first of all start with their siblings. Those that, that they are representing in Nigerian government today, they have their family members there. If they think that they can be run, they can run away. Their family members, they are there because they are eating the money from the Nigerian government. We will first of all start with their family members. If their family members cannot talk to them, for them to stop their evil that they are doing in the Afra land today, that evil will come before it will come for them. This is what we promised them. They should talk to those that they are representing in Nigerian government for them to change from their evil ways. The Afra land was a peaceful place because the, the agitation of the Afra, so-called the politicians, bring all these terrorists in our land today to kill us and destroy us and to destroy the movement of Biafra. But I tell you that whatever that happened today is giving us, for us to be strong, is giving us the heart to, be, to work harder. Forget everything that people are doing around us. What we want is Biafra and the freedom of Mazen and Bikano. And all the IPOB members locked up in prison, different places in Nigeria. We want their freedom. We want them to be safe. We know our people, they have been dying. Even as I'm speaking, Biafrans are dying in, in the hands of Nigeria. They use the blood of Biafrans to sacrifice in the name of Nigeria. Why our people have no reasons? Where is people to be? Where the election? Where all these kinds of things? We, we cannot reason for us to come together and fight for the, our, the, the restoration of Biafra. Where you will live free, where your children will live free, will work free, will see electricity, see good roads, see good school. This is what we are praying for. We did not pray for one Nigeria. No. One Nigeria is a scam. He has already expired. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Marzi, for your good work you are doing. May God Almighty, Elohim, continue to keep you, our veteran. All those that are working so hard for the restoration of Biafra, from the leadership down to the floor member of IPOB, may God Almighty bless you guys all. Amen. Thank you so much, Marzi. Thank you, sir. All right, this is Radio Biafra. Well, finally, 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 we've come to the end of today's program. I want you to stay tuned because Marzalozia is next. One thing I want you to do is to remember is that Biafra for us is a religion. And here on Radio Biafra is where we worship. And you know the word religion, what religion means that religion stands for truth. You cannot deviate. You cannot take your eyes off the ball. Because the truth will itself eventually play itself out. No matter how much they try. The Frankenstein that the federal government of Nigeria have created, we know that. When they did it, we were saying it. IPOB was always issuing press statements about this, what is going on. But today, it is downing on them. Now they are running around their Senate. They want to go and arrest the man in Finland and deport him. Or you don't need to go to Senate and talk about it. You know how to capture people now. Go and capture. <laughs> and, <read. laughs> and they bring the person back, whatever. But you see, you can't do that because if you touch him, he's going to reveal all the games that you have been playing with him, which we know we are the indigenous people of Biafra. When we say things, we say it the way it is. We don't hide anything from here, from me. Let me say goodbye today. For saying and sit at home. And, um, the government that is responsible is not going after those. <laughs> rather than the aftermath in Namdekana. And then uh, that gave birth to I read yesterday. It is disappointing that um, the statement issued by our leader through written communication has been with uh, Jumako for a very long time. And these politicians are the ones playing politics with our leader, Mazen Namde Khan. Well, Kuremadu went to, to the DSS to interview Mazin Namdekano in company of two bishops, uh, Secretary of Hanez and Dushin and Yatro, and And he, Sinatanyin Nabaribe, and Nyendo answered him and said, he did not. And he has been against 
a citatum because people are using it to hurt their own people. And if you remember clearly, if you remember very well, a leader said, let there be peace in Biafra land. Let there be peace in Biafra land. A leader said it. And he said it in public. He wasn't hiding. He wasn't hiding. So when you look at um, what people are saying, when you look at the behavior of people, you see that um, they are here to confuse you. Not only are they confusing, they are lying. When our leader will come and tell you, hey, I want peace. Why is he saying it? He wants peace. And how can you instill peace? You instill peace by not engaging in activities that will destroy our region. Uh, did we see it? Yeah. Did we hear it? Yeah. And we continue. We continue to embark on violence, brother against brother. When our leader will come and tell you, I want peace in the Afar land. Now, when you know our leader said that, all of you are aware that our leader said that. It was idealized. And everybody listened to it. Now, why the violence? Who are those responsible for the violence? It is those that don't want peace. It is those that don't want peace. Uh, let us... Um, ask ourselves uh, these questions. When the land is destroyed, whose land are they destroying? It is our land. It is our land. And um, people um, will come to tell you one thing or the other. You see all the ammunitions they have uh, gotten from other people. Those that come to terrorize their own people. They have come to terrorize their own people. In the name of Mazi Namdikan. That is not good. That is not acceptable. That is a way of making him a prisoner. And they will use it to judge him. When he tells you, let there be peace, 
and want peace in Biafra land. Is this the message of somebody who wants to sit at home? The answer is no. And this brings us uh, to Barrister Jimako. Um, when he said, uh, what he was implying, we know the difference between Simon Ekba and um, our leader. Um, Simon Ekba is the person who said, I will not listen to our leader. I will not take orders from him. I will not implement his directives. And when he said that, you're still associating him with our leader. We are looking at the government as the orchestrators, as those responsible for what is happening in our region. Uh, the case in point, the massing of um, war gadgets in the southeast. Um, if somebody wants to go out, I'll give you an example. If I want to go to my store and I've seen all those soldiers, I will not go. I will not, I will not venture to step out. Because you say something is one thing and what you do is another. Will the presence of all these um, soldiers encourage people coming out or sit at home? The adverse is the effect. They will stay home. They will not come out. And at the same time, you are pointing finger at Mazen Namdekan. If you come, with all these war gadgets in the streets of Enugu, are you going to force people out from their homes? Who are these soldiers going to protect? They are there to fight the people. And they are there to implement sit at home. They are working against Mazen Namdekan. And tomorrow they will use it. Oh, we instituted a peace by um, saturating everywhere with the soldiers. You saturated everywhere with soldiers and war gadgets. Who came out? Nobody. Indirectly, you're affecting sit at home. That is the trick. That is the policy you're instituting. That is what you are doing. When people are living in fear, when people don't want to die, you have not guaranteed their safety, rather you terrorize them. Using um, Nigeria <laughs> um, using Nigeria as a forefront yeah, to institute foreign policy of the West is going to be disastrous. Um, you're talking to the Indonesians. 
that have vowed that they will not allow France and the West to use them anymore. And you're speaking, the, the West is speaking through you, Tunubu, that you are going to fight uh, Niger. Uh, let's wait, let, let's see. And the guy responded to you that you are illegal. You are illegal. So you don't stand in any authority to come and give us orders. We must liberate our people. Um, people are fed up. They are fed up. They want their freedom. I don't think Nigeria want their freedom. They don't. Um, be you the commander. Do what you want to do. The people know what they want. They know what they are after. They want their freedom. Um, Soludo, <laughs> uh, they have put themselves in a, a frightful uh, situation where they know there is danger. So when a, a man like Soludo cannot stand confidently and address the people, you know that there's trouble. You know. And this is Soludo. Listen to Soludo. I think uh, Nyabo Eva had uh, commanded up. Uh, okay, Vane Kapur, Nibu. Okay, Nibu is on happy birthday. Nibu is on happy birthday. I think uh, Nyabo Eva had commanded up. Uh, Okay, Fear. Fear. Insecurity. Fear is so deep in their mind. They cannot stand and talk confidently. Um, they are the orchestrators of the insecurity. And uh, Barrister Jimako, uh, this is your your client. This is um, after Onion do gave order. This is what came out from someone. I will not listen to Mazin Namdekanu from DSS, from hospital, or from Nigeria. I will not talk to him on phone, on video call, on television call, or internet call. I want to talk with him one on one in Finland. Anything else than this, sit back and see how Nigeria collapse will start in the coming days. I am here to liberate Biafra, and I don't expect 
political criminals to be part of the liberation. When India fought Britain, they also suffered. None of them lamented about Gandhi. You must be ready to complete the sacrifice to the last minute. Why? Now, put these things together, put it two and two. He is in Finland. IPOB came to Finland, he disappeared. IPOB came to Finland, he disappeared. You heard what he said when IPOB came to Finland. Uh, Finland is a peaceful place. Um, if you come here to demonstrate, uh, you will be arrested and all this and demonstration was carried out and the police uh, gave uh, uh, escort to the BFMs. It my failed. You had the Finnish uh, government response that EPA has the freedom to speak his mind. I want all of you to put this together. And not only that, why is it that um, he talks with authority? See what he said about Mazen Nambekan. And see what Ejimako said about Mazen Nambekan and Simon Eba. Simon Eba on one side is saying, I will not listen to Mazen Nambekan, our leader. That means he is not with IPOB, with Ejimako. You said that Simon Eba is with IPOB. He is so confident that he said he will not even talk to a leader unless he comes to Finland to come and talk to him. Um, if all of you are not seeing that these people are creating government. Headed by Simon, I don't know what else you're, you're thinking. Ejimako, in his broadcast, sidelined um, Mazichik Edozim, telling us that um, Chike Edozim doesn't exist. But uh, the other juniors exist. And may I ask him, those juniors, who are they taking order from? Mazin Namdekanu came to save our people. And IPOB did not declare it at home. It is EPA that declared it at home. It is the government that is enforcing it at home to economically destroy our people. And we are there listening, watching. is what the government is doing. And we saw it. We are aware of it. We are aware. This is any number I played it before. With events, with what Simon Eba said, I just read. This is Abaribe 
serotonin na palibe. And then I will play Ejimako. Then decide on your own who is lying and who is responsible for your woes. We must try to be very, very, very wise. Pay attention to this. I want to message thank Senator Ayabari and the because all those Attentively. others who have uh, risen in support of this motion. And I also want to thank uh, my good friend OGD for helping to make it known to everyone that this is a, is a national problem. First of okay. all, okay. I will crave the indulgence of my colleagues to so go back to history because we are talking about history now. My people history. have a saying. Loyena man gave me the bidro mawaya or ga man boga pushi. If you don't know when the race started to beat you, you will not know when it will have also ended. This matter of sit at home started in 2021 august 2021 when the agitation group called ipob insisted called that they go on a seat at home because of their leader held in prison in the dss three weeks later when the effect of the criminal takeover of this started to manifest, this IPOB came out and said that they are no longer supporting seats at home, that they will have stopped. Unfortunately, very unfortunately, the Jedi had been removed from the bottom and all manners of criminal elements had taken over and now use the seat at home to kill to maim to burn houses to kill policemen and all manners of innocent people when that continued by december of 2021 and I need for everybody to know this in company of former senator and our uh, former deputy senate president Ike Ekuremado two bishops and the secretary of Ohaneze I went with them to meet with their leader, Nam De Kano, in the DSS headquarters. And there, we pointedly asked him, why did you institute this menace that is crippling the Southeast? He denied and said that the person who is going ahead and insisting that he's doing sit at home on his behalf is somebody called Simon Epa living in Finland and that he never authorized that and that actually Are you paying attention? the person he says that ought to represent him is another person and he called the person's name who is the person who, uh, what is his name it does yeah. we came back from that meeting in DSS, called a meeting of all the leaders of the Southeast and said, this is what Namdekano said, that he is not part of this. Yet, every Monday, what happens is this, a few miscreants, and I use the word advisedly, 
come out, shoot and kill one or two people, and run away, and video it, and send across the whole of the southeast, and everybody is now scared. The governors we met, the uh, all of us in the National Assembly we have met, everybody has condemned it. I need the Senate to know that there is no one in the southeast except the criminals who support this seat at home. That is detailed information from Senator Enina Baribe. All of you had it. And um, Chike Dozem is the deputy. Acts on behalf of our leader, Mazen Namdekan. He did not say Simon Eba. Simon Eba is an autopilot, not IPOB. Has never been an IPOB. He has his own faction. And his faction is responsible for what is happening. And for Ejimako, for Ejimako to associate activities of Eba to be that of Mazen Namdekan. need to be looked into. Don't just glance at it. Take it for what it is. It is what it is. It is what you saw. It is what you heard. Somebody decided to act and then you are illegally, blasphemously, cunningly linking innocent man being detained to the person violating the rights of other people. What is the reason behind it? Why? Why, I may ask, you said that's your client. That's your client. Do you work to save your client or do you work to blackmail your client? These are the things we have to find out. We have to find out. People are very corny. And whenever we are calling our people, we are calling them, wake up. I don't know if they hear. I don't know if they understand. I don't know. Ejimako made a very, very bad press against our leader. And um It is bad. So listen to Ejimako. Thank you for joining us on this night. Now let's get something. Thank uh, you. Right. Let's get something uh, really straight here. Uh, we need some clarity uh, for the purpose of the viewer. Okay. Uh, those enforcing the system order till now. Who are they loyal to? Who are they answerable to? Are they answerable to uh, Unam de Kanu or answerable to uh, Epa? Well, 
um, <clears throat> I'll speak uh, on what I know as of counsel. Uh, that might be limited knowledge. That might be all you need to know and our viewers tonight. Mazin Namdekarno is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. There are no two supreme leaders. And at this moment, there is no deputy leader. They have other leaders lower down the hierarchy of supreme leader and deputy leader. So standing on that, they have no leaders. Mazen Namdekan is the supreme leader of IPOB. Ejimako, you just said that. And let me point out how treacherous this guy is. Whatever his reason, he will later have to explain. You heard him clearly say that Mazen Nandekano is the supreme leader of IPOB. No other person. Um, there is a deputy. In other words, if Mazen Nandekano is not there, somebody else will have to take over. And that is the deputy, Chick Edozi. And uh, Jimako told you that uh, there is no Chick Edozi. But after Nandekano, you have junior officers. Junior officials. Who are those? And who are those junior officers liable for? And who are they taking orders from? They are taking orders from the deputy. But Ejimako said something that deserves examination. And our viewers tonight. Mazin Namdekarno is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. There are no two supreme leaders. And at this moment, there is no deputy leader. They have other leaders lower down the hierarchy of supreme leader and deputy leader. So standing on that, anybody that acts in the name of IPOB, whether the person acted for good or bad or for the ugly, is often attributed uh, to the head of the organization and the fish rose from the head. So Mam de Carno is very concerned about this. He never meant for things to go this awry, to go out of control. So your question is quite relevant. So we he is trying to separate the apples from the oranges here. So that not when somebody goes out there and say, I'm a disciple of Mazin Nam de Carno and he levies violence on the general public in the name of sit at home, Nam de Carno gets to take the bad name simply because he's the head of the organization. It's not fair on him. So have it. We are listening to you. Speaking from both sides of your mouth. We are listening to you. Our people listen very carefully. She has told you, Supreme Com Supreme Leader Mazen Namdekan. She has told you, no other person. He even went to remove Chike Dozim. But you will see why. How he is positioning Simon Eber. Uh, the anchorman directed him as to what to say. The answer. Let's continue. Consider all this. He needed to provide the clarity you talked about to separate the apples from the oranges. And the best way he thought he could do that is to end it once and for all. To start from the very beginning and end the process that is causing the issues. And that process or that event or act that is causing all these issues is he's at home. I met with him on 24th and he spoke to me along these lines that he's now left with no option that to take this drastic step. 
question is yes indeed the 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 question is how uh, drastic really is this letter to uh, simon uh, uh, is there any chance at all that uh, Nandi Kano may have been put under some kind of pressure, you know, to write this letter, you know, you know, just to secure uh, his own freedom. And from all indication, it looks. There is the uncommon. In other words, um, Mazen Nandi Kano is writing letter to secure his freedom. You want to, you, you want to criminalize him. He is telling you he wants peace in Biafra land. He has always told you that he is out for peace. He has always told you that he is tired of his people being killed. Conduct a referendum. Let people decide where they want to stay. And this anchorman with the Jimako came up with idea to place Mazen Namdekano at the uh, scene of the crime. That is the purpose of this press release, this jab jabberish. They are preparing for the case. Where uh, Jumako will present himself as special counsel and then will say, Mazen Nandikan is responsible. But he has been given the letter to say, do not engage in activities that will cause mayhem in Biafra land. Ejimako and his co-planners came to betray Mazin Namdekano in public. And this uncle man is saying, oh, he, he did not write the letter in good faith. He wrote it so that he will, um, you know, oh, yeah, he wrote it so that he will not be tried. But he has been tried. He will not be blamed. But he's been blamed. He has told you, I don't want war in my region. I want peace. Oh, he wrote it so that he will be released. And uh, this is the response of Ejimako. Thank you for joining us on this night. Now, let's get some on this, you are suggesting that I pressured him, which I did it. The topic of our discussion when I met with him on 24th July was on this. So it sprang on me as a surprise. I went in there to brief him on legalities, on the status of certain cases that we have around Eastern Nigeria and in, and in the federal capital. So he sprung this at me. So he must have ruminated over it, thought about it before I came in into the room to meet with him. So that's number one. Number two is you asked about whether Simon Hyper will comply. Well, if you read my press release, this announcement should have been made on Simon Ekpa's platforms, media platforms. That was the order. That if you don't make it on your platform, I have authorized Barista Law H. Michael to do it as a public announcement. So the order is directed to Simon Ekpa for the lead. Did you make that pronouncement that our leader said? Since Simon Ekpa did not make that in his platform, did you, H. Marco, do what Mazen Namdekan asked you to do? Limited purpose of announcing on his platform. But the announcement I have made is addressed to the whole world. Is addressed to the whole world in general and particularly to people of South East and South South of Nigeria and followers of IPOB that are legion. So the question should have been whether these followers of IPOB will comply and obey the instruction or order or directions of their extreme leader. So we shall see that as the days unfold from tomorrow okay Thank we're you. coming there we're if they don't there. what yeah. uh, what happens then i mean if uh, simon Opa's followers uh, don't do the bidding of namdekano uh, at least based on what he said in the letter giving that directive 
what happens then? Well, the question you put now, calling, referring to Simon Ekba's followers, suggests that Simon Ekba has different followers from Mazin Nandekano. Uh -huh. There you go. There you go. You see, um, <laughs> when people plot against you and they don't want to uh, reveal their plans, somehow or the other, it comes up. This is a Jimako that was previously saying Simon Eber and Namdin, Mazen Namdikan are different. Now, he is saying that their followers are the same. This is where he is trying to frame our leader, Mazen Namdekano. No, that's a fallacy. Simon Epa's followers are Namdekano's followers. So anybody following uh, Manasi Simon Epa is following him because he believes that Epa is following Mazen Namdekano. Epa calls himself as a disciple of Mazen Namdekano and the memo containing the order in that very memo, Mazin Namdekano also used the word disciple. So there is no different followers of Mazin Simon Ek. Um, my, my friend, you just lied. Our leader said those that claim to be his disciple, those that claim that are not, Claiming is one thing, and being is a different thing. Those claiming to be his disciple are not following his orders. They are not his disciple. And don't want to be associated with him, and therefore must, receive, must refrain from using his name to commit, to commit crime. And the Jimako. You have lied on your on your plan. Uh, at where I was in the, my in my previous statement that this order is directed not to Simon Egg, but he had a limited role to publish it. He didn't do it. So the responsibility fell on me as of counsel to do so. But the order is beyond him and directed to the general public generally and, of course, specifically to members of IPOB that are in the millions. So their leader has spoken and uh, it's left for them to fo follow these orders, directions and instructions without looking to left or right. That is what I think should happen. Thank you. So, uh, in other words, uh, there is this alliance between uh, Simon Elpa and Unam de Kano. Uh, what, if, what if after this letter, uh, Simon Elpa now sees it as an opportunity, sees the situation as an opportunity to uh, exert himself and take over the leadership? I, I cannot go into his mind. Uh, the, 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 the question is making extreme uh, postulations, uh, which I don't think should form the subject matter of the discussion. I think we are going beyond the brief. I can't go into his mind and try to analyze what he's thinking. It has never come into my reckoning. So I just don't know what to say to that question. No, no. I expect him to uh, act in good faith. Uh, you know, that, no, let, let, me, let me just say one of you things. Uh, of course, I expect him to act in good faith. He describes himself as a disciple of Mazin Nandekano, and that has endeared him to uh, many, or most of, or not, if not all, or most of the uh, followers of Mazin, Mazin Nandekano. There is no demarcation. When he says that he's a disciple of Mazin Nandekano, it is to be expected that he should also fall in line when Mazin Nandekano instructs him to do uh, one or two things, such as this one right now where he fails, that shows he is not with Mazen Nandekan. On several occasions, he has told you, 
he will not take orders from Mazin Namdekano. Ejimako, you are aware of it. And you have exposed yourself more and more. You have exposed yourself. That followers of uh, Simon Eba are the same as the IPO, which is complete lie. Is he well, aware? He is, is, act differently. Yes. That he fell. Isn't right. Namdekano uh, right. been briefed? Has he been briefed about the Senate's rejection of, you know, the motion to release uh, him uh, from detention? And is there a sense that Southeast governors are doing enough uh, to, you know, get him to be freed or at least be allowed to go on bail? Well, when I met you on 24 July, that Senate motion you mentioned was still pending. It was, I think, a day after, on 25th or 26th, that the motion I did not carry. The motion fell to pass muster. I'm sure uh, through channels of news communication in the detention facility, he must have been aware, not from me, not officially from his lawyers, but once in a while, news, news does filter into the DSS detention facility. And uh, a man of his stature is a prisoner of conscience of high standing in the facility. Maybe. Well, the motion in the Senate did not pass. How will, how is it going to pass? When the majority in the Senate are full and is. They pretend as if that means the Senate does not obey court order. He has been discharged, acquitted, not to be tried. And you are bringing in the Senate. The motion failed to release him. Why is the Senate holding the politicians? The politicians are responsible for the fate of Mazen Nandekano because they see him as a threat to their looting. And you are telling me that the motion failed. How many people from the southeast, how many people from the east will garner a vote? Why will that be a vote? Why will it be in the Senate in the first place? We lie to ourselves. We deceive ourselves. We are not honest to ourselves. That means the Senate itself doesn't, nobody in the Nigerian government to base court order. That's what the Jimako is explaining to you. Or that the Senate voted not to release him. And who are those in the Senate? The politicians, the politicians, the politicians. What else? What else are you expecting? Our people should see, our people should understand, our people should bear in mind the plot against Mazen Namdekan. They know who Simon Nipa is. They are the ones sponsoring him. And the Jimako being one of them, pretending to be the counsel to our leader, is sitting there, framing the same person he's counseling in public, where people know we are people themselves, those that are following Simon by saying that um, the DOS betrayed Mazem Nandekan. And how can Ejimako come and sit there and say they are the same people? That is framing in the first degree. You are framing your claim. What if someone doesn't obey? 
Oh, it's not going to be because they're the same people. And I told you what Simon Eber said. I just read it to you. I read it to you. So, <clears throat> in totality, you be your own judge. You look into the matter and you make your own judgment for somebody to lie and for our people to sit there and watch insulting our leader who Ejimako says is part of IPUB. This is Simon Eber today. I will not listen to Mazi Namdekanu from DSS, from hospital, or from Nigeria. I will not talk to him on phone, on video call, on television call, or internet call. I want to talk to him on one on one in Finland. Anything less than this, sit at home. Sit back and see how Nigeria collapse will start in the coming days. I am here to liberate Biafra. And I don't expect political criminals to be part of the liberation. When India fought Britain, they also suffered. None of them lamented about Gandhi. You must be ready to complete this sacrifice to the last minute. This is the person that Jumako is saying. Is a disciple of Marcin Namika who has explicitly, without any reservation, said that he will not obey Marcin Namika. He will not listen to Marcin Namika. Marcin Namika should come to Finland and talk to him. Now, Frame everything together. Put it, put it, put it, put the jigsaw puzzle. You see that they are positioning Simon Eba, not Chikedozim, not Mazen Namdekan, to the point that he has the authority to say Mazen Nam, he will not even talk to Mazen Namdekan on the phone. He is the God. He is the Lord. And the Jimako sat comfortably to venomously betray his client. It is disgusting. It is demoralizing. What do we do? Well, I've gone in details. I brought three sections of the issue. Their stand. And from there, you can be able to separate the wheat from the shafts. You see how a leader was betrayed. 
And this might be some of the people that gave him wrong advice. The worst Ejimako can say and which he cannot justify or defend is to say that IPOB does not have deputy leader. Chike Dozim is the deputy leader. Chika Edoziem is responsible for the DOS. Chika Edoziem is responsible for HOD. Chika Edoziem addresses issues concerning our leader. How come he's doing that if he's not the deputy? The only best way Ejimako can do it is to say, Chike Edozim doesn't exist, but Sapmonepa exists. And the person that exists cannot take others from Mazin Namdekano. The person that will exist is the one that will commit mayhem. And then you will say all of them are one, Mazin Namdekano and Sapmonepa. Sapmonepa is terrorizing the East. And then Ejimako is saying that Sapmonepa and Mazin Namdekano they are the same thing. But our lead is telling you, I want peace in Biafra land. I want peace. Let the Jimako um, come and explain himself. It is painful. Very, very painful. When others are moving forward, we are busy jeopardizing our existence. We are busy lying against our people. We are busy ensuring that our people are enslaved. It is, it is very, very disgusting. our people know who you are dealing with. Our people, it is not everybody that says, I am with you, is with you. We have seen it all. We have had it all. All our people must understand the need for peace. We must understand why our leader say he wants peace in the African land. But they are declaring war. They are terrorizing people to say Mazin Namdekano is responsible. He has told us a lot of things. You see, um, listen to Ali Damazin Namdekano. And the Jimako should respond to this. How he can say Mazin Namdekano 
is responsible. And I will repeat what I said. If we engage in killing, Biafra will not come. That is one cardinal thing you don't do in Biafra. And go and ask anybody. Anytime you shed an Igbo blood, you kill a fellow Biafran, anything you're looking for will not come. Go and ask all of them. Starting from the death of Mbono Jike. People don't know how Mbono Jike died. The man responsible for the death of Mbono Jike, where is he? Everything he asked for, he got nothing from. You heard it. Our leader said that. Ejimako. Ejimako. You are aware of the stand of our leader with regard to violence in Biafra land. He has been a man of peace. And for you to equate him with violence is betrayal. Unforgivable betrayal. Which you have to explain. I have said it before and I will repeat what I said. If we engage in killing, Biafra will not come. That is one cardinal thing you don't do in Biafra. And go and ask anybody. Anytime you shed an Igbo blood, you kill a fellow Biafra, anything you're looking for will not come. Go and ask all of them. Starting from the death of Mbono Jike. People don't know how Mbono Jike died. The man responsible for the death of Mbono Jike, where is he? Everything he asked for, he got nothing for. The truth shines like light. And um, with your fake media arise, you have exposed yourself. You have let us know that you are jeopardizing the lives of our people and the life of our leader, Mazin Namdekan, who you claim you are advising. What kind of advice are you giving him? And how are we going to stand and watch thinking that you are counselor, the counsel for our leader, Mazi Namdekan. It's frightening. It is frightening. When we say all the ego, ego na tum. This is what is entailed in this kind of comment. People frighten you. Our leader, Ndo. Ndo. You need a few hundred men. You need a few hundred men. They are nowhere to be seen. They are nowhere to be found. We cannot hear from them. They are silent. They are silent. This is the truth. It is the condition we find ourselves. It is the lifestyle we cannot live with. 
we are who wants enslaving ourselves. I will open the phone nine. Plus one. Four eight four. Seven six seven. Zero eight four eight. Plus one. Four eight four. Seven six seven. Zero eight four eight. Live broadcast from Radio Biafra, USA. He that is not with you is against you. Always bear that in mind. Call her your name and where you calling from. Good morning. Good evening from Biafra Lunch. Right Honorable Tim Bezia Patego. I'm calling from Gaffa Land. Major Lozier. Go to Kadia, man, not for anything in the Yako Zero Young Women, who must in Nakalikan. On your top down, no young women. On your chin, I can see Rosie. To go to Kadia, my new good good and I will seek it. Why are you, man? Where are you, Runazo? Akubaka ni nakubaka ebe. Kozo ziriye, wede na mezo. Ayo ramunka, na hachuko kika diyama. Ise, ise, ise. No matter whatever, parita loye jimako me di ranting. Those things are immaterial to me. My dear Lord, let me tell you. Jesus Christ was said, not those who are calling me father, 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 that are my children. But those who listen to me and abide by what I say or the instructions I give. My dear Lord, they can know it's an history. From God, Jesus Christ replicated to the Hebrews and to Nigeria in general. When Christ came on earth, the people of the Jews, the Jews, never knew him. Likewise, Mazen Nandekano, Nigerians do not uh, know him. That's the problem we have. My problem with the ma Barita Lodzia, or rather, Barita Ijimako, is this. This man has turned himself into a man, taking cattle. Martin Nanigano employed him as his counsel, not to negate the hierarchies or the functions of IGOP. That's number one. Obeta, Barita Obeta was the best lawyer and was the man in Nanigano. When Obeta met up, Martin Nanigano showed him the way out and threw him upboard and engaged the statues of uh, Ejimofo. Later came Ejimako. The problem I have with Ejimako is that he has turned himself into a mess, setting shanties and inanimate objects. How do I say so? He doesn't take clues from a Jofo who was there before him. Now, a Jumako has decided to know to talk. And align himself with those who are on the street, irrelevant people. That, I mean, a Jumako 
can he withstand the air pressure from IPOB family? That's the multi-million naira question or dollar question. Can he sustain us? Ejimato, please learn your lesson. You are not a member of IPOB. The hierarchy of IPOB is not your concern. Martin and can employ you to defend him in court. Let me tell him, if he tries to abide by the dictates and the call to IPOB, he will be just in there and disgraced. Martin and is a colossus. I tell him, my savior, my leader, and my God. I never knew that God so much loves us to have provided somebody like us at this particular point in time in the name of Martin Nandikano. What a love he has for us. I have been able to tell Nigerians and all those who feel concerned it is Martin Nandikano who has the key to Nigerian problem. Let them go east, west, or north and south. Whatever they are doing is completely obscured. Nigeria's foundation is laid on corrosive acid foundation. The foundation on which Nigeria has is is laid is acidified corrosively. That what it means is total destruction as Martin Nandikano postulated. That there are no two ways to it. Only the formula adduced by Martin Nandikano is the only way out for whatever is called in Nigeria. Thank you very much, Mazia Lozia. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. Live broadcast from Radio Biafra USA. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Um, uh, the good afternoon from here. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, calling you from, from Ghana. Welcome. Go ahead. Uh, I just want to greet you and greet all the IPOB media warrior and all the radio presenters and also special greeting to Onye Edu Mazenamdekano and all our genuine lawyers Ase Mechuku Kabiyama guide and protect all of you uh, Maze what we are seeing now, in fact, is something that somebody had predicted before on Radio Biafra. When this experiment of thing was going on, somebody predicted that there is a battle coming, and I mean, that we are going to face from one of those lawyers. And uh, how the person put it, is from this very evil man called Aloy. Why I call him evil man is because he thinks that he can hijack IPOB from the dark. Mas, since all this war, many of us know, many of us have seen this coming, that this man have evil agenda. Remember, he is working with Kano Takano, who have been sacked from the IPOB. He is working with a Berima who is not IPOB member. He is working with so-called those that we have sacked from IPOB for a very long time. So this very young man, this very lawyer is evil. He is working with these people thinking that they can hijack the finance, the radio, and the leadership of IPOB. But them that God Almighty is with IPOB. No matter your hidden plan, no matter your hidden plan, I can see 
according to our leader. Our leader used to say, I can't see her by her. No. And that is exactly what have happened to him. We are on our own lane. We are not dragging. We are, in fact, we don't have faction. And we are not dragging anything with somebody. We are on our own lane. They are the people who are pushing themselves to distract what we are doing. The whole world knows, everybody knows, those who care to know, that IPOB have nothing to do with Eperima, have nothing to do with sit at home and what have you. We are on our own lane, but these people, they are distracting us. So therefore, Maze, all IPOB family members all over the world should buckle their belts. In fact, celebrate that another one, I mean, one man is down. When I say one man is down, I mean that another big infiltrator hiding in the name of defending IPOB have been reviewed again. They can't hide forever. In fact, I was even happy how this man have manifested in these two days. Okay, I was happy because who knows that this man is working? Many of us will not believe it, that this man is working in this level. Even going to see governor and many other things they have done in secret. But he will come out and be pretending. All this while we have been battling, battling these people, stopping them here and there, both physical and spiritual, both on social media and online. But this man will never come out and condemn them. They will know that he is working with them. So therefore, me in particular, me personally, I want to buy one beer for myself and celebrate that this man has finally brought himself out. And I know that the zoo will disgrace him because there is money they are sharing. You see, sometimes eh, the leadership of IPOB, please, I want to summarize here. The leadership of IPOB need to in fact, we give people a lot of chance. That is why. There are a lot of them who are hiding. Like that of Ike Chukwonoha. Yes, he's hiding. Those people are not working for IPOB. People need to be told, people need to let this truth sink into their brain as disassociate yourself from them. They are not part of us. Mazi, I agree to you. Keep keeping on for us. We are solidly behind you, people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Call her your name and where you're calling from. Caller, your name and where you calling from? Hello. They will go ahead. We are hearing you. Okay, Mazalazi. My name is Chukwe Manuel. I'm speaking from a location. Thank you once again, as always, for your effort. Every day towards this journey to go to Kabiyama with your strength. I greet my leader, our leader, Mazenam de Kano, the man who set up this platform to expose all the evil that is happening in the whole world, mostly in Nigeria. Honestly, when I think about uh, Aloy Ijimako, I start to hear about Aloy Ijimako immediately when our leader was reduced to Nigeria last two years. The man I have been hearing his name is Ifany Ejiofo. And Ifany Ejiofo stand for IPUB for all these years. Not minding all the suffering burning his house 
killing so many people in his compound. If I need your first tea stand to this struggle, I wonder what happened to Aloye Jimako. When I'm seeing Aloye Jimako walking towards Nenyanya, towards Kano Takano, I know that something is happening. And today, everything has coming to manifest. That this Aloye Jimako is working for Nigeria. It is very clear for anybody who has sense of reason. Nevertheless, I have to encourage our people. The highest thing you will do as an evil man today is to stand for our leader, Namde Kano, is to stand for the OS, TK Dozier, Edozium, and Go. That is going to be the highest thing you did when you are allied. The highest thing is to support IPO and stand for it. Because there is no other hope and there is no other plan and there is no other way except Namde Kano, except IPO. When I'm listening to Senator Baribe, there was a, 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 a statement he made about Igbo leaders that they went to see uh, our leader in the ISS headquarters or something like that. But my question to this, to Abaribe, or all those people is this Did Igbo have leaders? Or do we have a certain group? Of people called on an essay and their group working against their people because of money. Did these people have shame in their eyes? Did they have shame? Because if these people have shame, they will not come out and say that they are leader of the evil because they have no shame. How can people be useless to the extent that everybody in Nigeria have seen their useless and their foolishness and their, you know, uh, corrupt? I don't know what else to say. Did yeah, they know the meaning of leadership? Because the leader is what our leader have been doing. A leader has to stand to defend his people because his people is his power. Without your people, you are nothing as a leader. But today, in Igbo land, we have no leader. All these things that is happening for these years have proved out that we have no leader. Alo ye jimako, neni anya, kano ta kano, and your group. You people have no shame. Onu wa toro la nyuro du unu. Neche du unu ne megide na namu unu. Emano o mwe kukunu ne megide. Ihe na ne emu unu. Le uta li bodo ta. Mother Potassini, I will lead her. He heard him a wound. There were massive. He heard him a wound. He heard him a wound. Marshal, you see, we are battling with um, unseen forces. And, uh, 
know how um, we still cite them. They ex expose themselves. We've seen the assertions made by Ejimako, uh, and he comes, calls himself counsel to Mazin Namdi Khan. When people make mistakes, they try to say they are strategizing. And uh, it's funny. Call her your name and where you calling from. Yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, this is uh, Sorong Apple from Atlanta, Georgia. Can you hear me? Welcome. Yes, sir. Um, just a quick one. Uh, um, honestly, I love you, Jamaica. I mean, I'm sure that uh, the leadership, they're seeing everything that's going on. Yeah, they, they, are, uh, they always make a better decision when, when, when things like this happen. And Jamaica, it's even a good thing that this can happen right now, so I'll be able to know who is really who. I love you, Jamaica. The leadership should take a drastic, uh, that's my own suggestion, they should take a, a drastic measure to make sure that these men do not come closer to Mazen Nam Dekan. So that, because the way he's getting close to Mazen Nam Dekan, the more he gets close to Mazen Nam is very, very dangerous. That guy can, you know, since we already know that he's, an, he's, he's being used as an infiltrator, for somebody, the letter was given to you two years ago, and you held on to this letter now, what are your plans? I used to tell you they have, an, they have a secret and a hidden agenda. So I just believe, and I put that the uh, the DO went, you know, take a drastic, a bold measure. Whatever they have to do, let this man. He can continue being a family lawyer to Canon Takano and the rest of them. But when it comes to Onyendo, let that man not come closer to Onyendo. They should even stand up as a lawyer as soon as possible to make sure they disband this man from going close to Onyendo. And when it comes to this uh, military that lives in Finland, it's quite unfortunate that. Uh, even with all this that is going on, a whole lot of people are still listening to this idiot for getting rubbish from his mouth. That guy has really, he has really done a lot of damage into this, into, into this our struggle. And it's very quite, quite unfortunate when I listen, I don't even listen, but a little bit of, you know, hearing what he said, that guy needs to be dealt with automatically. But I believe everything else will be on stance until Mazda and kind of finally comes out. That's all I needed to say. Thank you, Mazda. Thank you, Mazda. They call number plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. They come. They say what they want to say. Uh, they tell you we are this, we are that. Your client is suffering. And you said he is your client. And you are associating him with enemies. Uh, that means if you are the special counsel, maybe you are the one misleading him. For people to listen intentively to what Ijimako said. It's not something that you can just uh, throw by the wayside. Take it for what it is. Call her your name. No, Where you call it from? Uh, thank you, sir. Um, sir, I, I want to also put something because last time, I think it's not up to a month now or so. This uh, criminal in Finland. There was a kind of uh, something, I think, I don't know, they said he, he had a video chat with his uh, fellow uh, animals. You know, he was there trying to tell them that his mission, that his main goal is to make sure that he sponsored, that his government uh, sponsored government in Ezai, as a Nigerian government in uh, Ezai, that is not Biafra, because I don't see that Biafra, Mazen Namdekalo has said that various times, that you must get a country before you have a government, not even to have the exile one in another country. So he says that his motive is to make sure that the whole powers in the authority is now in line on their government in Ezai in times of Biafra land, that everything that is happening in that, that he wants the power, that everybody to be
be seeing them, the government in Ezra as the people in charge. So, and the uh, Aloye Jimako also, by saying that this activities of this guy should be as, as is linked to Mazen Namde Kalo, I still keep on asking questions. That thing that the, this idiot said, does it mean that Mazen Namde Kalo instructed Aloye Jimako to empower this guy to pull down his, uh, as an IPOB, which Mazen Namde Kalo himself is instructed? Uh, uh, Mazen Namde Kalo is the leader, and he's also a member of DOS. Now, Aloye Jimako, is he not telling me that the Mazen Namde Kalo has dissolved his IPOB? Or has he dissolved his own uh, DOS that he himself is the member also? Because trying to defend, as he's defending this guy, it means that they are trying to pull the, as in, remove the power from DOS and IPOB and now send it to their SI government. Because many, me, I am not judging anything from him side now, but what I am trying to bring out is from the mouth of whom he himself is defending. Because according to his, uh, his written also, being a lawyer, Jimako, he wrote somewhere when he was addressing this case, fellow criminal, that he should remember that he went to Enugu to represent him. That particular one, I know they forget that, to represent him, because this, that is where he He went to represent him in Enugu. So, as a lawyer, is he representing him in the name of the government in SI? Or is he representing as a member of IPOB registered, or as a DOS member? You understand? So these are my questions because our lawyer Jimako will address all these things. We would like him to address it for us. And my request, personal request, is that Ndi Sibiko men or say so can you abroad now? Because you know one thing about our people is that when an important issue is going on and we let it die low. It will take time, our people will just forget that thing. And the person, the offender will continue. The offender will continue dishing out his or her wickedness against our people. But if something happened, maybe if there is a way that they do that is to tackle that thing immediately, like the case of Aloy in Jimako, it is very important to us. Because it's one of the people claiming that he's a lawyer representing Mazen Namdekali, even including the POB inside of it. And I am a member of IPOB. We are members of, we know what we might face through. When this guy, with the, as a Chineke Megule Bere, the basket has broken in public. Him, where is the bureau? You see, Ndi Bosna here in Sinafeme, as a bureau, and because of kingship title, it is why Kanunta wanted to kill his brother. Because he wants king, he wants to become the king of Afaruku, which Mazen Namdekalu himself vehemently said to hell with. And the, the person that says he's his sibling wants to take because of that as a titleship to kill the man whom God has sent to deliver the whole race. As a bureau, that is it. As an imputed hero now. The woman, you know, and the Kebo, Ejimako, Alo Ejimako. Ejimako, his character has proven that no one hako. He doesn't have a single hako. Oji hako. He don't have hako. So we cannot bear the, the, the consequences of his character or, or his, his actions. Okamaka, Okotiana, let our leaders just try. We, we are not dragging them now, but we know that is how they do their things. But Pikonu, Kabaye today, we will learn on time so that we will take this thing away from us. So that we will focus. Because that idiot in Finland. Now, people have seen who is giving him power. People have seen when he says that, like Mazda Lose, you portrayed here that he mentioned before that he will never take any instruction from somebody in DOS, I say DSS, from, D, from the D. So, who is the person in the DSS? Is it Mazda Lose? And he said it wholeheartedly that he will never take instruction from somebody in DOS, uh, in, D, in DSS. And our lawyer Jimako used to go to DSS to visit him as a Kano. And he also come back and give him message. Instead of bringing the message to the leadership, he gave it to him. And after him listening to Adi Jimako, he will still come to social media and say he will never take instruction from somebody in DSS. And the Jimako is still proudly saying that he's defending him, linking him to IPOB. Now, does it mean that Aloye Jimako is one of the people killing our people at home under the guise of this uh, sister? So because you must pay for this. All the families of people, the big families that uh, uh, this 
see the uh, criminal in Finland with his government sponsored uh, criminals have killed him there for a land. Let those families document the, let them bring out their list. Alo Yejimako will tell us why he is sponsoring criminality to kill our people. Trying to target on that in the in, in, target on Mazin and that POB. And no matter what he tried to do, now he must stand outside to defend that in Obi this way before. This criminality, my prince is that he has caused a lot of setback for uh, as well, to the other um, uh, uh, what is it, our lawyers. This guy has dealt signed secretly to this man because they cannot come outside and say what they are going through from the from this man. If they say it, most of our people will say, Ah, hey, is that how our lawyers do? We can't you handle yourself. But these men have tried. They have tried to keep silent, control it on the ground. I believe that our legal teams now, they will be somehow relieved. They can focus now and do their thing, do the normal work they want to do, without anybody even trying to put sand on their gari. Because this guy, since from 20, 2017, while I was still inside before, I read the body movement of this guy. Even now, recently, 2001, there was a picture, he was uh, in Abuja. See the way he was struggling to snap picture with Mazin Namdekalo in the courts. Some of our people doesn't even look down. He was trying to sneak, putting his head out to make sure that his head appeared in the, in the picture behind Mazin Namdekalo. And I was asking myself, is it how a lawyer is supposed to be doing? So, they have seen everything. Our lawyers, may God bless you guys. God has vindicated you guys. Barista, if I need your for San Michael Zokome and the rest of them that is be, that be working for a lot of time, God has come aside to vindicate you guys. That bad medicine that has been killing you guys all that God has that has put it has it, it operated just nonsense. So in this city, we don't know anywhere. Now who need an yoko? We need that's the problem. Every film guy, every guy, every member, this man, no more. And every Twitter, every Twitter, this man has made. Both him and the Kanota. All the whole tweets that have been this is two years now concerning this issue. Because we know Jeff Kuro, we know my hair name. I guess now boy, I say for here. Everything that I know, even when he threatened that if he opened his mouth, IPOB will do this and that. And the same IPOB is simply mean that he's 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 defended. There was no uh, my hair name. I screenshot. Yes. Hola, your name and where you come from. Good morning, Dr. Alos here. Miguel Romazic, welcome. Uh, <coughs> I gotta clear my voice first. Um, thank you so much for the um, thought provoking um, clips you played with regards to uh, lawyer uh, Jimako. One thing I would like to advise our people is. Uh, People make statements sometimes out of emotions. It's always good to have facts before people you know, start saying what they're saying. I don't like to comment on issues that I don't have the complete facts. That's who I am. Uh, number one, um, um, last time I listened to um, China Sanworu, the tiger, uh, the lion, um, my brother, he said one thing that got to my ears. He said, we cannot, because a lawyer is representing us, that he cannot go and represent a criminal. He said it in his, one of his programs. What that means is this. All I'm hearing is that the Jimako represent good, went to Enugu and represented Simon Ed. But nobody's telling me on what case is he representing him. The Jimako as a lawyer, we don't own him. The only time we should be worried about a Jumako whom he's representing is if that person is fighting on uh, fighting against IPOB in that particular case and he goes to represent him, that becomes a conflict of interest in his own part as a lawyer. He cannot do that. Other than that, if Enugu is charging him for even criminal offense or even for what is going on in a, uh, uh, with a, uh, 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 no, a normal government or, uh, 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 or pertaining to sit at home, Anyway, I can go there and represent him. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not concerning us. 
sit at home and the criminality that goes with it concerns the government. If they cannot stop it, it rests with them. It doesn't concern us. Now, number two, I would like to ask a question and listen to me carefully, my brother. The statement made by Ejima Khan with the clips he brought claiming that these are written uh, 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 scripts from Mazin Namdi Kano. Has he been investigated and found out that Mazin did not write that script? Can anybody tell me that, including you, uh, Dr. Alozi? Can you tell me whether that list, that script he presented and said Mazin Kano wrote and everything concerning his broadcast recently, 23rd of July, is just yesterday, just of yesterday. Can anybody tell me whether that script is authentically from our leader or let me let me cut in let me let me let me cut in here our leader wrote that thing he did not write it yesterday ejimako no ejimako has had that thing for over a year or so he has had he's that had that script for over a year and he's claiming that he and he's claiming that uh, he, he he when he visited our leader how many days ago yeah, he was lying because um Ekuremado, uh, and um and um, the bishop okay. of the land. so he, he's, he's been busted you know so he brought that out so okay. any, anything now, that is told okay. him he, he um, hides okay I'm, 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 I'll, I'll take what you said now to be the fact okay I'll take it that way and if that is the fact do you expect anybody whether it's his Simon or to now consider that that script is authentic to act on. I don't think any same person will act on that script. If what you just said now is a fact and is absolute truth, that is, this guy doctored something. So any same man will not look at that script and believe that this is a script written to by Mazin Namikoli two or three days ago. So I'm not going to buy into that. I'm not going to waste my time talking about that script or anything pertaining to his speech until the facts come out. That's the way I see it. And we shouldn't waste our time talking about what this guy said or what he didn't say. The other thing I want to say is this. Yes, Benjamin Baribe has been coming on the screen and talking on the Senate floor with regards to the ill treatment being meted on the southeastern people of Nigeria, particularly Igbos. But I want to say one thing. You know, all these things that you've been saying, including the ones before, nothing has come out of it. They know what the problem is, and that problem is this. If they do not like the sit at home that is claiming, constantly claiming lives, destroying businesses, and this person doing it is saying that until you release Martin Nam, they cannot. They know the, what the problem is. I didn't hear him say, release Martin Nam, they cannot, this will stop. This going to this distance should be on the basis of the fact that the court has freed Mazen Nandi Kano and he should, he should the, the court here, the, 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 the Senate should make sure that that law is carried out and they should release Mazen Nandi Kano because this is not a kangaroo government. All this nonsense talk, they go there to talk when you go to the uh, 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 to the prayer or whatever prayer they are going in the, in the Senate. It's absolute nonsense because all the prayers that he has had before, nothing significant or nothing tangible ever came from it. It is just, it's just a, it's a small screen. And they are busy out there sitting there uh, uh, passing uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, loan that comes that they will share the money with. They will be the ones who will say, hey, yeah, to it. And they pass. And they, they will come to the scream all the time and tell us about something that never 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 materializes and we buy into it and think that these guys are doing anything for us. They know what the problem is. The problem is that release Mazim Nandi can period. If they feel that the, the the sit at home on Monday is not biting them, it means the sit at home is working. It means that what is going on is working because that's the reason why they are talking about it. If it's not working, they wouldn't talk about it because nobody has ever come or uh, gone forward to say release Mazin Nandi Kano on the basis of the fact that they have the law on their side that says Mazin Nandi Kano is free and should be released. That is all we care for. Every other thing there is a small scream. 
as far as I'm concerned, and I'm coming to radio to talk about uh, Juma Kho, no, Juma Kho, if these people, if, 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 if that, just like the last speaker said, this is a, this is something that calls for soul searching and a lot of introspection, as far as I'm concerned. We should look deep and see what is going on. Yesterday, somebody came to your program and said similar thing. We should bring uh, Juma Kho, bring him. If you want to bring him to the radio, bring him to the radio. Let's have any, let's have questions and answer and talk to this guy. Let him tell us who is he representing, who is he, and, ta and tackle him rightly. There's something he said. I think it was misunderstood. He said, when you, when you ask, when they ask him in the clip you played, so if Simon Emma did not follow the instructions given to him by Martin and Kane, it all means that the people who are following him are not following Martin and the Kane, they're following something else. He said yes. And it's correct. People that followed Simon Emma did not denounce Mazin Nandi Kanu. They still believe that Mazin Nandi Kanu is their leader. It's just that they did not believe with the decision taken by the overall leadership. And I want to make it very clear about people that are bad marking people that were fired or asked to leave. IPOB. They are not fired because they were saboteurs. They were fired because they did not follow the orders given to them by the leadership. The leader of, uh, of uh, IPOB in Boston here, who was later made the Eastern Region leader, everybody knows him, he so I fell out with, with him on the basis of not respecting the DOS. That no matter what you feel, no matter what you think, how negative it is that you feel about the leadership, as long as the, 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 the leader, as long as Martin Nandikar did not give order that they should fire the leadership, you do not have any right to say you're not going to work with that leadership. And I said, if that is the case, I'm not going to go with you. I still talk to him on the daily basis. One thing I want people to understand is this. People should limit how they come to Radio Biafra and cause people out. He's doing a lot of damages to us. I talk to reasonable and intelligent folks, people that matter. And this is one of the things they complain about. Our people will come to radio instead of being being analytical and make sense in the manner of way they, they follow issues. They become sentimental and you always hear when you cut people up and down. What I'm asking is this. If a, if a lawyer Jumako is doing the wrong thing, if Roy Jumako is doing the wrong thing, please for God's sake, why should they allow him to be still representing our leader Martin Nambi Kamu? He's coming out and saying these things in the open. That is one of the uh, of the councils of Mazin and they come up to today and there are people that are working with them so we should really put our hands in the wall and see what is going on thank you so much and i'll leave it there god bless you there we yes um i'm glad you uh, brought up uh, what you say and uh, is <laughs> is 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 good now let me respond to you I played uh, three clips. You did not make any reference to the one Simon Eba just tweeted that he will not take orders from Mazin Namdekano. Ejimako equated. You listened to it, you heard it. Ejimako did not miss words. He said that those following Simon Eba are the same people following Mazen Namdekano. That is a lie. And yesterday I said, somebody should bring this guy. Let's discuss. Let's know who he is working for. You had it. Another one. You had any Nabaribe make a statement saying that they spoke to Namdekano and he disassociated himself from Simon Eber. Then you had that one. Then again, your assertion is your assertion. People will agree with you. People will, will disagree with you. So are other callers. They have their right to express their opinions. They or everybody has. When you go the wrong way, I'll tell you you're going the wrong way. But for a Jimako to place our leader in danger, and then you, you heard that. And you say, make up your mind that they don't know. They know what they are talking about. Every person that called here spoke spoke correctly, because I myself, you've, you've never had me mention a Jamaican on my broadcast. 
but for this one, for Ejimako, Ben, as learn, as intelligent as you are, for Ejimako, based on what is happening in Biafra land, to stand and say that people that are following uh, uh, Simon Eba are the same people following Mazin Namdekano is very treacherous and very, very bad. Call her your name and where you're calling from. Good morning, Mazin. My name is Dr. Tina Iberichuku. I'm calling from Texas. I am IPUB member in the United States of America. My geology, I have listened all morning. I've listened all night. I've listened all of yesterday. I have read everything. I've listened to that video twice. I've listened to the audios. I've listened to everything. Let me tell somebody, a lawyer, Jimako, is not a counsel to IPUB and is not a counsel to Mazin Namdekano. Period. A lawyer, Jimako, is re representing the, the siblings of Mazin Namdekano. They retain him and he is a saboteur. Let nobody, this is not emotion. I'm not talking about emotions here. Let me make this clear again. Aloy Ejimako is not representing IPOB. Aloy Ejimako is not representing our leader. Aloy Ejimako is representing Kanon Takano and the, the rest of them. And that's why our lawyer Jimako is sent in to speak to our leader. And when he comes out, he speaks from both sides of his mouth. Our lawyer Jimako has been sabotaging what we have been doing by going to that dungeon and telling our leader some stupid information sometimes that is coming from Kanon uh, Takano, who is uh, uh, somebody, SBU. That's what he has been doing. Our lawyer Jimako has been pushing his head out talking rubbish about the leadership of IPOB for a long time, and he will come and make some snide comment, and we let him go. We have been watching Aloye Jimako stick out his head a little inch at a time. Aloye Jimako's head is fully out by these statements that he made in the public this time. And we have no right to fire Aloye Jimako. Otherwise, I'll say sack him right now. But whoever he is representing should fire him because now we know exactly the line has been drawn and our lawyer Jimako is on the other side. We know that now. Like Ezebiro, Ezebiro, Kanon Takano is on the other side. Like Autopilot is on, uh, on the other side. Like the Code of Conduct people are on the other side. We now know where everybody stands. So let me tell everybody, please, my people, please be our friends. Please, IPOB members. Just let's follow this systematically and logically. Let's let our leadership deal with some of these problems. Let's make sure that we get the right message to our leader in the DSS dungeon. And let our own representatives, our own lawyers speak on behalf of our leader and on behalf of IPOB. But if our lawyer Jimako is retained by anything and anyone in IPOB, I will advocate for him to be fired right now. But I know who hired him. The people who hired them are saboteurs. If anybody wants to hear it, you heard it from me. If this is a fight, I'll fight it. He is hired by saboteurs, so he's acting like a saboteur. He associated this noble movement, IPOB, with my people who are shooting guns in the air, killing pregnant women in our land, disregarding everything that Martin Namdekano is saying, telling them to stop, to please keep Biafra land calm. He is, everything they're doing is in contrary. In contrast to what we want, and somebody had the gut to go in the public media and associate us with criminals, I say no. I say hell no. We cannot be associated with criminals. Criminals, that's who a lawyer Jimako is, uh, is representing. Do not associate him and his gang with IPOB.
this movement will remain noble as long as we're in it. So if you want to speak to Chezo and the, um, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Um, uh, 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 Wefi and Ogunnama. If you want to speak even to uh, Simon Ebrema, go right ahead and speak to them. Because we know that the Nigerian government has put these people in our midst and our lawyer, Jumako, goes from one governor's place to another, begging for money. Now he looks like a human being. This man w could not practice law in the United States of America. According to the Bar Association in New York, they wanted him not to practice law here. He is the, uh, what do we call them? They beat dad in the United States of America. He ran away because he didn't want to train his own kid. Do not talk to us about our lawyer, Jumako. We have nothing to do with him. He is a good lawyer for his people, for the saboteurs that he's represented. But do not associate us ever with those criminals because IPOB is whiter than white and whiter than snow. And we know our lane and we'll keep to our lane. Yeah. 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 Like I was saying before you called, um, Eji Mako knows um, Simon Eba. Eji Mako has the right to represent whoever he wants to represent. Representing your client is one thing, but associating us with Simon Eba is something we will not accept. So for those asking who he's representing, they have the right to ask because they don't know who he's representing why he's representing them. Asking for knowledgeable reasons is proper. If he wants to represent someone in any good, that's his business. But nobody's worried. But for you to say that person you are representing, understand what I'm saying? For you to say in public that that person you are represent, representing is in charge, is associated with IPOB is unacceptable. We will not accept it. Simon Eba is Simon Eba. He is dealing with his own issue. We are dealing with our own issue. Caller, your name and where you calling from? I'm glad I'm going to call it DJ Observe because all of us here are coming to my own and I'm going to For the clearance for those of them who are calling and Ben, the only thing I will tell you, Ben, tomorrow you are not going to listen to Radio Biafra. We will plead with you to make greater time tomorrow and listen to this platform, this particular platform we are talking here now because tomorrow it's our thing today, and tomorrow the day IPOB Voca Media comes online, we are going to expose a, 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 a lawyer, a Marco, to the extent, after that exposition, this man is a, a lawyer, a family lawyer to Carlton, Carlton and the Imande, not to Nandi Kano. He's not IPOB lawyer. IPOB lawyer is a, he finds a job for. Everybody know what happened. Uh, it's like, well, uh, I think Obiano is in America now. Marcelo Obiano is in America. When he left off, he descended, he wanted to run out there, kidnap the, the DSS kidnapping or caught him, and he settled. But this is the man that, uh, this is uh, said that uh, a lawyer in Jamaica collected 100,000 from this young Obiano. Obiano gave 60,000. After three weeks, he gave another 40,000. This uh, lawyer in Jamaica collected a 5, 000, a 5 million. 100 million I'm talking about, 60 and 30 after 40 after three weeks. He collected a 5 million from Wilson Wiki, Wilson Wiki, you know, people. He collected for try from Hope Uzodimba. He collected 65 from um, Elugu. Tomorrow, you will hear things that you've not heard before. We are going to expose this one to the core. Tomorrow is the D day. I just want and pray that everybody will listen tomorrow and secret to your radio, you will see the kind of so all the IP will be media will be on air tomorrow. And we are, we are going to those things you've not had, those you did not imagine that you hear, tomorrow you will hear all of them. 
this is uh, a <laughs> um, when somebody you don't know you think you know exposes himself then you know you don't know the person uh, I understand your logic that it doesn't work here then it, it just it just not it's not gonna work um, we are who we are call her your name and where you call him from Maybe I have to be brief. Uh, I one time remember that was I think the first year that the director of state, uh, you know, announced and uh, listed of the seat at home on the twenty eighth of August of that particular year, twenty twenty one. I came to realize that after that particular week, I think two weeks after that, on the 11th of July, that same year, Mazi uh, Jonathan, Mazi Jonathan, who stayed there uh, alive, uh, Mazi, a uh, lawyer, who we are talking about now on our radio. And on that interview, Mazi Jonathan asked me a question, a pertinent question. He said, are you by any means being threatened and all that? Do you feel threatened doing this job with me for our leader? And he opened up. He said, yes, even if it's family, sometimes it's kind of thing going on to be with and all that. And I think uh, that's one of the things. And secondly, coming to this uh, information right away, I think the integrity, objectively, from my own understanding, the integrity of everything is this. I realized that, uh, like, uh, my international services, most of these are lawyers. They are not IPB. This is their profession. So they, they cannot dwell in the case of our leader without other case that comes on the table from me. So, for me, it's in my call to read all these things. I have this for 20 years and whatever time. Fine. For some reason to him, like for him, I'm not just a fan. But all I'm saying is that I think if he's defending a uh, what is called the man from the Finland, I don't think 99% of even the indigenous people of Biafra are not the indigenous people of Ariwa or Odudua. We have something by doing. It's a total of family more than. The only challenge we're having right now is that the issue of sitting at home has been rejected by a certain person. So, whether you bring Simon in today, my younger brother listened to Simon in by more than me. But one day I called him and said, Why are you following Simon? He said, Simon in and our leader issue would have been forgotten. Nobody will know that he's still in the same hand, he will die there, which means. Emotionally, he's feeling for Mazin and because not for family. Either. So, why I'm bringing this contribution on my own side is that for now, let's hope that maybe the intimidation he's having around him is nearing him to pushing himself this way. That's so why I said, anytime I read, uh, uh, Tina Samoru, our uncle will be coming on platform for interaction with Mazin Jonathan, let's bring in one or two of them. Into the pit so that we can actually bring out some questions legally for them to interpret to us. Because only if uh, Amazi, uh, 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 sorry, Amazi, uh, 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 our dear uh, cannot say everything legally the way it is in the lines of their litigation. So uh, that's the only thing I'm saying because I don't think, uh, uh, what is it, the man in the same line. Has anything to do because if we do not tackle this the way you put it out now, it will tarnish our whole lot of years and decades moving on effort that Mazin and the Kana and IPC have made. And the useless idiot for Hanegui and the so called 
uh, people to give them who are not careful enough to know that we are suffering, that we need to go. They will end up speaking grammar in the law club, and yet the justice will not be given on their own side. So all I'm saying is that let's just handle this thing with maturity. I thank God I have patients like you and every other you know, veterans and many ones that trust our dealers. They don't have to go out of it. So let's just take it easy. I am not talking out that we are not one. Even if he's a lawyer, he still remains an indigenous person of Biafra. So it's left for him to use his tongue and come to speak. If he's against us, I will be so thank you, Daddy. I love you. Thank you. Kola, your name and where you call him. Hello, Dr. Chupe Mekalonze, thank you for taking my call. Yeah, well, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, we are. Uh, okay, thank you, for take, thank you for taking my call. I'm speaking to a brother of Buzin with the scavenger. I'm calling from Africa, the South Africa, the South in South Africa. I greet my leader, Mazen Namdekano, a prisoner of conscience who set up this radio Biafra, a citadel of knowledge and spirituality. Uh, uh, to educate us anyway, uh, Dr. Chukwe Mekano is because we are winding up. Thank you for taking my call and thank you for educating our brother before our sister who called and tell us that uh, even this man is not a uh, IPOB lawyer, uh, he's not uh, even uh, 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 he, he's not even our leader's lawyer. But uh, can you see how I tell you that you are uh, dubious? And uh, thank you also for handling our brother. Well, you know. Our brother, I will say, but sometimes he always, he have called us, he said we speak with emotion. But we have told him that we are, we are hot. That is why we are speaking with emotion. Even if you think you are speaking with emotion. He have called us conspiracy theory. There is no name, he don't call us. But it's fine, because everybody, everybody is learning. We are learning. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you must see that uh, what is happening here, what we are talking about here, can you hear what this man said? The person who is asking questions from Sahara reporters ask uh, a, a question to Paris Tejofo and tell him, don't you think that uh, our leader might be writing this letter He's writing this letter because uh, maybe under duress or because he wanted to regain his uh, freedom. But if that is the case, uh, as a, a learned lawyer who is even trying to defend his brother or saying good thing about his brother, how can you say this type of thing? Can't you even ask uh, these uh, Sahara reporters, but uh, this thing you are asking, why are you beating around the bush? But it, this man, why should this man even uh, 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 write a letter to a, a Finnish somebody stay in Finland? Can't you see what is happening? Didn't uh, 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 is it not the court that have freed this man that discharged him that he didn't commit any crime? Why are you still talking about it? These are the things that I'm angry, and uh, that is why I told our our people. We have friends all over the world, and I tell you that we don't have father. Because if we have father, why should you go to parliament, to senate, and spend money? Spending money that we don't have. Spending money that could have been used. You spend it to the foreigners because that money they used to sponsor this bill. Now, this is the answer. What, did, what answer did you get now? These people you are going to meet in that senate, uh, majority of them are from where? Majority of them are the Fulani Elders Forum who said, who have vowed that they are not going to release, that releasing Namdekano is bad for them. How many of you in Senate? Why should people, why should people tell us that we are, they are, that they are educated, they know everything, but when we talk, they call us conspiracy theory, they call us so many names, but we are talking because of what we see. That is what we see, that to our own lower level, that the truth to hear is release this man before you start to talk any other thing. You say the insecurity, insecurity, and now you go into parliament and talk of insecurity. The genesis of the insecurity is from where? 
Why did the defeat at home even started at first? Now our leader has cancelled the seat at home for a long time. Then you cooked with this man from Simon from uh, from Phila. They know, therefore, these people know what they are doing. Look at what they are talking. Now they are wanted to hand IPOB to, to this Epilima. That is what they are doing. Now the, the, the man said he wanted to look at his reply. Marco, this is the reply that he wanted our leader to come to him in Finland. Come to him. He can't speak to our leader in internet. He can't speak on phone. He can't speak on... There is no way. Only our leader must come to him instead of him coming to our leader. Which means now he wanted to be king. Everybody, see everybody that happens here. See somebody will come and tell us here he wants evidence. What do you think? He can be a, 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 somebody can be a member of uh, Simon and in love with him. Can you serve two masters at a time? In this education, don't you know that you cannot serve two masters at a time? Lower, that is just lower it down. Don't go high. You cannot serve two masters in one time. Every man said his own organization is autopilot. He said it. So, uh, Jofra, I've not heard anything about this man before, only to come in national tele in, in a television and they will be asking him questions. He can't even answer questions correctly just because he wanted to wound us, just because he wanted to, to, to cause mayhem inside us, giving us pain every day. Every day they are giving us pain. Every day. That is what they are born to. But IPOB members stand on their feet because they are, they are shame. One day you will see them, they started burning themselves because they have reached their limit now. That is what is going to happen. See, watch what they are going to do to themselves very soon. Thank you, Dr. Chikwe Meka, for taking my call. Dear friends, I love you. I feel the members here, my Lord. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. The evidence is there. Um, nobody is... Uh, is stating anybody's uh, statement or word. My assertions are direct to what Ejimako said. Placing our leader together with Simon Eber. Then, if that is good counseling, you let me know. If what Ejimako said is correct, then you let me know. That is bad, bad counseling. When you know that our leader wrote a letter saying stop at home, uh, stop enforcing it at home, it affects our people. And somebody says, come to Finland and talk to me. If you don't get anything out of that, well, we're in trouble. Even if you call me, I will not talk to you. Who is the master here? Who is the servant? If you are a disciple. And you don't see that when I say you don't see, I'm not referring to Ben. I'm referring to our people. If we cannot see that this is an orchestrated plan to destroy IPOB, I don't know what else you're going to see. I don't know it. Caller, your name and where you're calling from. As your line, as your line is, is bad, so hang up and call back. Your line is bad. Call her your name and where you calling from. Call her your name and where you calling from. Yeah, hello, my dear. Good afternoon. Okay, okay, um, I remember where I'm coming from my location. Yeah, this um, 
you know, when this man, he called Ben, is calling, calling you, I tell you that my ear is, you know, just itching me. I don't know how they can people. They can, you know, people will just, just be claiming, what, what, what is, who is, what is this man? Think he is, what is he talking about? This man is dead. Doesn't this Ben know he's everybody Ben? So today, you, you, okay, this Ben, you, you don't know that Shabari Ben is the only person that's talking about to reason. Ben, are you not, you, you know, are you not present? You know, Shabari Ben, everybody Ben talk about the reason for almost every time. Why are you calling that to be the name of that one? All these things he's telling you that you do. I mean, any other person do, do it. Do it. What, what can, you see? Now, this person is telling you that you might have right to represent any person. Yes. But in this case, was it you might have right to represent a better man? No. You can't represent a better man. Now, do you, do you think that it's your fault? If you can represent the if if you can represent the it shows that it was all who believe in that And I want to say that this Ben, this Ben don't believe in the US. I can tell you because I have when he's speaking. This Ben, this Ben don't believe in the US. The US, he didn't believe in the US. We are, yeah. we are getting we are getting okay okay um but this uh let me stop well are your name and where you call from call her, your name and where you call from call her, your name and where you calling from Yeah, you're you're very faint. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, go ahead. We are, we are not hearing you. We are just not hearing you. Oh, Maz, you're going to want to go up and call back. No. <laughs> Just uh, want to go up and call back. We're not, we're not hearing you. The call number is plus one four eight four seven six seven zero eight four eight. We have an we have an issue with the call, so um, let's see what uh, what is going to happen and. Um, This, this caller from Signal, your name and where you're calling from? Am I coming out clear now? Yeah, we're hearing you. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mazalozi. Mazalozi, 
my name is Mazel Bona. Mazel, like I was saying. Um, this is one of the reasons why they will say in Iboland that uh, the problem is that the younger ones do not uh, respect the elderly ones. Because I can't imagine the kind of elders we have in our land. Who see These are double agents. These are the kind of people who even they tell them tomorrow that one of them the calling is dead. They will never believe until they see his corpse. They to come out today, they tell you they are supporting Mazen and the Kali, but deep side deep down inside them, they want everything that will bring Mazen and the Kano down. That's why any opportunity they see to come and vent their evil minds to the public, they will come up and say it. But let them know what we are their friends. We know what we want. We know our leaders. They don't choose leaders for us. Any of them joining Aloy Makot to project a Berima for us is an evil person and they must end in shame. They are talking about representation. Nobody is saying that you cannot represent anybody. Your lawyer is your court to represent anybody. But this is not the issue of representation. We are talking about somebody coming to a national TV to tell you that the killings by a Berima, the killing of a pregnant woman in Enugu by a Berima, the burning of people's cars, the snatching of people's property and kidnapping and spoiling of uh, old women pro uh, uh, or in the market. He's telling us that these people doing it are uh, sympathizers and followers of Mazen Nandekano, that there is no difference between IPOB and Mazen Nandekano uh, and the Simon Epa. And somebody heard this thing from Aloy Dimako, still have the nerve to come out and question the authenticity of the information. But you see, asking questions, how sure are we that the letter is from Mazen and the Kano? But the same Eberima and Aloy Dimako told you that the letter is from our leader. You don't want to believe anything. You only want to believe the one you believe that will suit your own narrative. These are people, you always tell us that uh, people who communicate are listening, this is what they complain. Those people that are complaining because of what we are seeing in this struggle, let them go to where they belong. They are not part of, we don't need their help. When you know about it, they brought out himself and money to bail our leader in 2015, you are not there. So, some of these people who never called when our leader was out, they have the opportunity now to call to begin to vent their evil agenda against our leader. Somebody who opened, I learned Marco who opened mouth openly to tell us that one chick dozium is not an insult. Or God, ben, put yourself in the position of chick dozium, and somebody will come out to tell you that one chick dozium, one Ben, and you will not be angry. This is the evil in our land. This is why when they run away from this land, they stay wherever they are, they begin to create problems for us. They don't come home. The only way they sponsor is what they will bring the problem in our land. They don't sponsor any genuine thing in our land. You are coming on air to come and tell us. That means you are telling the host of the something million different that we are daft. We don't know when somebody is insulting us or when somebody is doing something against us. Very, very big shame on you. And that brother called himself uh, Ndana Pare Madu. These are the kind of people. You are telling us that... Uh, uh, your younger brother is supporting Simon, but you are supporting Mazen and the girl. You that knows the truth, he cannot even change your brother. You are coming on radio, be afraid to come and talk. Some, people, some people are not supposed to come on this air to speak. Let yeah, them come yeah, Nigeria yeah, radio yeah. and say some of those nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are wrong on that one, Mazen. Mazen, you are wrong on that one. Yeah, let me tell you why you are wrong. Yeah, yeah, you are wrong on that one because. Um, People can, you, you cannot change people's mind. Even some parents will, will disavow you for because you are in IPOB or this or that. So, you know, uh, you're wrong on that one. So, they will, you know, um, we've, we've come to the end of uh, this broadcast. Um, <laughs> con controlling people, trying to convince people, this is why we're in this mess. You're dying. They are killing you, but you're still confused. And they can use us to achieve their goal, but we cannot isolate these people. We still argue, and we still doubt, even with the evidence in front of us. Um, this is where we'll be 
ending this program.